That's number five. Cinco. What's the, what's the date? 20th of November. Mm -hmm. 2017. Happy Thanksgiving in advance, everybody. What are you doing for Thanksgiving, Leonard? First of all, oh boy. Who are we thanking? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's what are we thankful for? Right. What are you thankful for? Not dying this year? I'm just thankful that Christina Broccolini is my spiritual goddess. Mm. <laughs> Anything That's else? It. Uh, yes, I'm I'm thankful for all the hardships that I overcame last year, and I hope there's much many more in 20 This year. You hope, you hope there's more <laughs> hardships and that tragedies you can overcome. Good. All to right. hurdle over. Good. That's interesting. <laughs> like what? Well, I guess this is a New Year's type theme, so I wait for... No, we'll wait for... We'll, we'll do podcasts closer to New Year's. We can do that bullshit then. This is just what you're thankful for. It's Thanksgiving. Right. Anything besides hardship. Uh... <laughs> uh, you're not thankful That's for anything. That's a deep question. Yes, yes. What? I'm thankful <laughs> that I was born and not aborted. <laughs> so thank your mother for that one. Right. Not getting a coat hanger out. Hmm. <laughs> Basically. Yes, some people should be aborted. <laughs> I second that. Speaking of which, how was your experience over at Jason's the other night, video oh, game. <laughs> I was with two living abortions, actually. <laughs> I was out that night. Jesus Christ. I was at Bruise Room in Delray Beach. Holy shit. With a couple two. of friends, and I was watching your live feed of it. <laughs> it's unfucking believable Like, what that's game? why he is the way he is. She is, I mean, he, he, what do they say? His The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. His mother's son, he is just fucking, I mean, they're, they're both quacks. Straight up fucking quacks. They should be put in fucking homes. And she encourages that shit. That's Wait, why you were playing that. a game with them? Yeah, on Twitch. Battlefront what, 2. What is Twitch? Because I keep hearing about it. It's like, uh, it's online gaming where they sit there and they donate money. These, these fucks, he gets people to donate money. I don't know a lot about it, but my friend who's an IT director said it's basically going to be overtaking YouTube at some point. If not, it's already catching up and will soon surpass YouTube in terms of popularity. And Jason's seizing on it. Hey, rightfully so. I can't hate on it. See, I would have and, uh, no, absolutely no use for that. I can't, I can't All she do is, he's, it's got, I mean, it's a kind of a complicated setup, actually. He's got a computer, a little camera, but you have to interact with the people. Oh. They want, they want you to answer their questions and give them shout outs and shit, but his computer's way off to the fucking side. You can't see shit. Well, who set that up for him? I still don't know. <clears throat> I think the guy's name is John. His his handle on Instagram is like bongs 3 TV or some shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I should send he him a friend request. He was me to come on here. He, um, he sends me messages often. He had to tell you to come on here? Well, he was one of the people that encouraged me to come on here. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got a lot of requests for you. Yeah, I'm not sure why, but why? It, seems like, it seems like there's a lot of people out Cause there. Because you're a fucking aren't... female. They're, <laughs> they're tired of hearing the fucking sausage yeah, fest over here. There's a lot of people out there that don't like me, but that's... Who gives a shit? It goes with the territory. That's perfectly okay with yeah. me, yeah. You got more work done on your arm, huh? I did. I got all the black filled in because I ran out of ideas. So you just I did just all said, black. Yeah, I kind of like you know black arms matter. So. Oh <laughs> Jesus Christ! Lenny liked that one. <laughs> <laughs> Is that any reference to fisting? <laughs> sure, why not? So next week we're supposed to have on uh, Synthol Mark. Mark, Mark is aware of the shit talk <clears throat> that's been going on about him being a virgin and all that, so he's uh, he's eager to participate. Issue a retort. If that is true, yeah. I will pay for a hooker for him, a hundred percent. I'll go fifty-fifty on you with that. Right. What about you, Leonard? Well, I think it's been tried before, but oh, really? It's very By who? Group of the older guys at the gym. Oh no, shit! Did Mark know it was a hooker, or was it kind of like in the movie The Cable Guy, where you know it's supposed to be top of the line? That's better. Actually. Top of the yeah, line. Yeah, where yeah. He, the guy doesn't know it's a hooker, he <clears throat> thinks he's got game, or he's getting lucky. Offered money to get a top of the line. Did Mark turn it down? According to what old, one older gentleman said, yeah. Hmm. Oh well, there's really no challenge in that. I guess you. Yeah. Why would you want to lose your virginity to a hooker? But I know plenty of guys. <laughs> well, what's the alternative? That. Stay, no, a, stay a virgin. I know. I, know, I, I mean, know. I know guys. Uh, some of my coworkers still pay for hookers just because it's easier. Apparently. Well, you pay them yeah. to leave, like right. Bo, yeah. like Bo Mar says, you pay them to leave. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was Steve Martin or Steve Martin's line. I think. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Or Rodney Dangerfield, one of them. I think it was Steve Martin. You're not paying for the sex. You're paying him to leave. 
as soon you're as you're done. Right. See, to me, it's just inconceivable because I would just never pay for any of that, you know? Well, you don't have to. You're that's like, I know, but right. that's like a woman paying a man to stay, you know? On the opposite end of that, like if I was going to get a male hooker and I was just like lonely, <laughs> like, because, okay. For male escorts, like my my ex, like a few years ago, ended up becoming a male escort, and I Just asked a gigolo. and I asked him about it, <laughs> and I was like, "So, do these older women like pay you for sex?" Because I was really curious. And a lot of the women, time, they, they just, just want to go out to yeah, dinner and shit. Exactly, they just want company. So, I mean, there's a huge difference between men and women when it comes to that. Right, Lenny? Yeah, I think I know who you're talking about. He shall remain nameless. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know who it is. You know, yeah. The gentleman with the tattoos. Yeah. Well, that describes anyone, Emma. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that doesn't exactly narrow it I'm down. I'm surprised you remembered who that was. Yeah, because I know his so called guy that was running it. Oh, yeah. I don't know where he's Yeah. At. Why don't you get into that, Leonard? Maybe some women will pay you to spend some time with them. I don't see why not. Wherever sleeping or trying to sleep is about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jay Masters is texting me. No, no, Hold on just a second. You, you just saw so it. <laughs> of course, that's where you hear my phone go. Yeah, it's it's because it's stupid group text. That's one thing I cannot make I sure. Hate group text. Make Holy sure shit. Lenny knows that Dale shot that huge deer inside a fence at a gate. That was a canned hunt. Yeah. Where Dale killed was, that deer. <laughs> he was that's he was up. in his uh, hunting pod. That's weak. Here, there's a weak. lot of shit, Dale. That's weak, Dale. That's so unfair Look, to the deer. He it's gets, weak. He gets so fucking sensitive. He sent me pictures of all his... Look, all his Blackstone Lab products after he saw all the shit you got. Now read this. Look. Brad you, you is can sure. read it. Go ahead. Read it out. No. Tell Lenny over $1,600 worth of products, and I get $500 worth every month, and my sponsorship is for a year. It's not a cash sponsorship. It's a supplement con sponsorship. This is a text message from Dale for Lenny to read. <laughs> Keep reading. You can tell them about Iron Man Webs. They want me bad. The last podcast was epic. Tell Fat Boy I don't stuff my trunks. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like it to me, Dale. He said he catch. He said you're a cookie cutter for shopping at the store to buy your meat. He hunts his meat mm. like a real man. Yeah, with the deer inside a fence for in a canned hunt. Isn't that what they call that? A canned hunt. Oh. Three hundred pounds. You'll never be three hundred pounds, Dale. Why don't you kill it with your bare hands if you're so big and bad? <laughs> or a fucking bow and arrow. Yeah. Huh. Doesn't get any easier that, Dale. Why don't you go on ice here? Trump's allowing uh, some more wild game hunting. You can bring back your... He's reconsidering that. Yeah. He's going to decide. Why don't you go to him? Africa and kill a lion or a tough guy? What's fucked up? That he's allowing fact, people to bring back what they kill over there? If they allow no, them to No, that he's expanding. I don't know the specific details of it, but that he is... What is it? He's like allowing for... Um, like more game hunting of uh, was it endangered species or was it um, no like lions and shit right? isn't it bringing back the what you heads can, yeah like of, of a lion your, or your, your trophy kills yeah 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 I, just, I don't know if they allow, if they, game, though, if, but if they allow you to kill that shit in the other countries you should be allowed to bring it back I don't you disagree know, if you with can that kill at all. me and take my head <laughs> back <laughs> to North Carolina I'll Mount sign Lenny's a liability head. form freeing you from any legal ramifications how's oh. that Dale oh god you can mount my head in your living room mm -hmm. we should get take you to a taxidermist when you die definitely stuff, stuff you <laughs> make a big put, you, statue. Put, you, put you in the corner of the fucking gym <laughs> have, you, have you ever seen these funerals that they do for people like if you go online and google image search them you can see for example google image search dead boxer uh, wake and there, there are pictures of a guy he's dead he's been embalmed and he's wearing his boxing gear he's got gloves on and a robe and they have his dead body embalmed propped up in a fighting stance <clears throat> Then there's another guy who died who was an avid motorcyclist. So at his funeral, they had him propped up his corpse on a motorcycle, what? hunched over, like, yeah, go look it up. I'm looking at no, it right No, now. they actually, it happened here so, in Del Rey, in the hood. There's one, one kid that got killed that's like, they run the funeral parlor and shit. They drive the motorcycle, the motorcade. Uh -huh. They fucking, they embalmed him, they put him in, in the car. And then they put him at his, the next day they put him at his desk. Right here in That's fucking, fucking Delray. Yeah. People that I work yeah. with went to this, the funeral. They said it was fucking That's creepy it. as shit. So, so the family can keep getting his welfare check. So Lenny, we can do, <laughs> <laughs> we can do that to you, but in a, in a squat rack. <laughs> it looks like Sint on Marty. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's That's one with a guy creepy. in a motorcycle. Yeah. Yeah. 
Can you fucking imagine? This is so weird. I wouldn't even want an open casket. No. Cremate me, that's it. wakes are just weird. It is. It, would you want weird. the memory of your, the last memory of a loved one to be looking at their dead body? I wouldn't. I've it's, been, I've been to open no. casket. Yeah, wakes. I me have, too. I've My been grand, to a bunch. No. And it's not pleasant. It's fucking barbaric. Yeah. It really is. You're s- sitting around staring at a fucking dead body with their well, mouth sewn shut. They got all this makeup uh, on. Yeah. It's just fucking. Sometimes like they'll, they'll kiss them on the lips too. You'll oh, see. Yeah. That's, that's it's disgusting. not how I would want to remember a loved one. Is. Oh man, my, my cousin killed himself. What was it? Shit. A little over three years ago. He was 29. I remember his mother was like kissing him inside the casket. It was yeah. so fucked up, man. So disturbing. Yeah. His little kids were there. He had a, a 10 and an 8-year-old. What's the most fucked up thing you've ever seen in person, Emma? Oh, my God. Um, gosh. <laughs> Think back gonna to have to, I'm thinking, but you're going to have to come back to me because I have a lot of weird memories oh. to sift through. We got, we, we, <laughs> we know, got, we got two like, hours, Emma. <laughs> cocaine's yeah. a hell of a drug, so I got to think. Oh, yeah. I got to think. But you're nice and alert when you're on that shit. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. Lenny's not too alert right now. No, I'm not. I didn't take my Fenibut, which is a mild neurotropic. I usually take two days off a week. In this case, I took three. Just feel, you know, not as mentally as sharp. You know, kind of real relaxed. You're back so. at work now, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everybody happy to have you back so you can clean up the kitchen? No, they're cutting hours. They don't, they don't like to see me. <laughs> Why, you're guaranteed you're 40? No, but I don't complain. I don't. They have to step it up when I'm there because I don't talk to anybody. Of course, you really can't. Do you work 40 hours a week? No. How Where do hours? you work at? Delray Oh, so, yeah. That's- about 34. Don't eat the tuna salad or the chicken salad if you have to Why? stay the night there. Why is that? <laughs> Lenny made it? They have a huge no. bowl. <laughs> and usually the giant Mitsu bowl, and I'll get the huge cans and dump it in and a whole gallon of mayonnaise or two. The Haitian lady got uh, rubber gloves on up to her you know, wrists. And she sticks, mix it together, squeezing the mixture, and it's running up into her elbows Ew. and stops all over her forearms. <sighs> the country club I used to work at, I used to see burger patties fall on the floor, and the cooks would just pick them right back up, put them on the grill. Yeah. yeah. A restaurant, when I first moved to Delray Beach, I worked at the Sunday House. You know that? Uh-huh. On yeah, I like that. Yeah, place. Yeah. Great restaurant, but <laughs> when I first started working there, it just opened up. And I was in the kitchen hanging out with some of the cooks, and a dragonfly, a big-ass dragonfly, flew into the kitchen. And one of the cooks caught it, killed it, pop, popped its eyeballs oh, out, that and dropped its awful. eyeballs in the big vat of the soup du jour for lunch. Ew. <laughs> Yo, so. people are fucked up. So like, what possesses you to do somebody that? Somebody ate you know? dragonfly eyeballs for lunch Ew, that day. I don't even want to think about that. Your kids now do it even more, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. People are gradually getting more fucked up. Because they know the rich are coming to eat. And then, you know, they got to get back at them. So I would almost never go to restaurants, especially if you had money. I remember one of my first jobs was at a pizza hut, carry out delivery. I was one of the cooks. And my buddy, every, all my friends, we all worked there. Some, some of us drove, some of us cooked. <laughs> when they get an order and a real cheap fuck ordered, they take care of that pizza. All right, we'd rub the pepperonis on the bottom of our shoes. Ew. <laughs> we, driz- we drizzle fucking mineral oil. On, on the pizza because it's tasteless, odorless, but it makes you shit. Was like that like Visine? Uh, yeah. But Visine, they took that chemical out. So we, yeah. used, we used mineral oil and we tested it on one of the kids that worked there. <laughs> he he was doubled over. He ran into the shitter because he wanted, you know, a little personal pizza. So we put it on there just to test it. He was in the bathroom for like two hours straight. Mm. We fucked that him up. Sucks. So we knew it worked. Yeah. <laughs> so this is turning in with some of those rotten thing you've ever done. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I can say honestly, and I hate to say it, but the keys. Oh, yeah. The keys? Back, back when I first started well, a commercial me gym, I mean, my first time over 20 years ago, it was a world gym in Boynton, and I even hate to say this, but... Which one? The one on Hypoluxo? Yeah. I worked there for two weeks. You were the, with the uh, legendary John Defendus? Correct. Yes, I was. Wow. You must have some stories. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't stay long enough. I lasted two weeks. I couldn't take it. I went, ran back to my old job. I haven't heard this keys story. Hey, go ahead, Lenny. Sorry. Please. You know, everyone holds, you tell? puts their keys on a key rack. Yes. For some reason. And I had a car at the time. On my way out, I grabbed as much as I could, probably like 20 or 30 sets of keys. And I was walking by and I threw mine in the, down into the sewer. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> That's really to this fun. day, I can't believe why I did it. I regret it to anybody who... He lectured me one day when we went to the gym because I just throw my keys on top of the lock, the lockers. Because I'm, I'm not sitting there with that shit. He's like, bro, don't ever do that. <laughs> yeah, like, Somebody will take your day, keys. If I cause anybody any problem, I apologize. Not that it's going to help much. What did exactly they, possessed you to do that? Know, like anything? No idea. No idea. <laughs> Were there just, any repercussions? Just fuck it. That's no, why. Nobody saw. Nobody knew. Right down the sewer. 
<laughs> Except none of them could leave the gym because they're yeah, all of their keys are fucking gone. What the hell happened? He's just like the watching best would have the been chaos. to stay there and see what yeah, the fuck happened. Yeah, <laughs> see what was happening. Now you didn't even see any fucking that results. Look a little suspicious <laughs> in their lap. Oh my god. Yeah, we were rotten when I. When I'm I not sure what's there. worse, that or when me and some fucked up friends of mine when I was 14 put a firecracker in the mouth of a sleeping homeless person, lit it. Oh in my god. <laughs> Lit it and ran. That and is, we, we made that's it, awful. We made it around a corner and we heard boom. <laughs> to this day, I don't know. He probably has no teeth. Yeah, <laughs> that's fucked up. Yeah, it was on. That's, uh, fu- that's more fucked 72nd up. Seventy second Street and Second Avenue. Yeah, yeah. You, you got us, man. I won't You're name a terrible. I person. won't name names, but that was I was thirteen or fourteen and we did that. See, I definitely haven't done anything like that. We really? used to just blow yeah, up like no. frogs and shit. Oh. And well, <laughs> yeah. See, I have no. I have no. What you say? Used to blow frogs. To that. Blow them up with M80s uh, and firecrackers. Yeah. I know people that, who would I, do that. They tape them to the backs of turtles and that's shit. That's awful. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, I, yeah, I, it, just, I, my, I would never do that. In my advanced age, I agree with you. 14-year-old me would yeah. <laughs> would still do it. 14-year-old me boys, would not. Yeah, I, boys are, we're psychos. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I realized that. I had to deal with them, so I get it. <laughs> <laughs> that homeless person is still alive. Please accept my most sincere apology. Maybe you killed him. Like, we maybe, may have. Do you ever think of that? I don't know. <laughs> I sleep like a, I sleep like a baby, Emma. I'm sure you do. Jesus <laughs> Christ, that's a good one. Yeah, growing up in New York City. What can I tell you? So we, we didn't jog your memory of anything. <laughs> Come on, Emma. Think. Rattle that cage. Um. I mean, I've like what I've seen. That would that what you asked me? What's one of the most fucked up things you've ever seen in a crack house in a street? <laughs> Why is the first thing you said wow. a crack house? Meth <laughs> <laughs> house. I was My bad. I, I, a meth I house. never have done meth. Maybe a crack house. Maybe a crack house. Um, I saw something pretty fucked up that happened to uh, this younger girl I was friends with. I felt really bad. Um, it was kind of a complicated circumstance, but she um, she ended up getting her throat cut open in front of me. That was pretty fucked up. By who? Um, some dude that she she was having problems with, I guess. And I uh, was just over there, and they started arguing, and I, that that happened. So that was pretty fucked up. Did she die? Uh, no. Oh, no, he didn't so do it. He didn't, a, good, he good didn't do a good job. No. He was just like, trying to send her a message. I, I don't know. I thought he was trying to kill her. It, it really seemed like it. So did he go away for attempted murder or what? I don't know what happened to him. I don't know. Huh. Any questions, Brad? Are you looking? Is it coming up? We're browsing the uh, comment section of what we post on Instagram. See if it read some of these questions out loud. You should stream it on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Are we I able had to a surprise listen? visitor when I was at work Saturday night. Who? My first training partner when I came to Florida <laughs> that actually took me to a commercial gym, took me to Bally's over there in Boca. Did you say training partner or tranny training partner? partner. No. Tra- training. Tranny? Yeah. Oh, training. I thought he said <laughs> tranny working out. partner. Yeah. That's uh, what I thought he said, too. Yeah. We finished the dinner line, and one of the Haitian girls said, there's a guy outside who wants to see you. So I walked outside. It was dark. I'm looking. He's walking towards me. He's pretty big. And his name is uh, Mike Terrazano. I was like, wow, I haven't seen the guy in almost 20 years. And he saw us on the podcast a month ago. He couldn't believe it was me. He said, <coughs> he saw the picture. He says, I know that voice. And he was, it took him an hour. He goes, who is that guy? Because he couldn't believe the change. When he saw me, I was looking like that picture, like in the wrestling singlet, you know, real overweight and with the hair. So that's what, 20 something years ago, right? Wait, you have a picture yeah. of Lenny with hair? Yeah, I don't know where it is. Yeah, there's an, old, there's an old YouTube I, video of I, him and Andrew Kalora in a powerlifting meet. No, no I'm talking about when he saw has the like videos. 19 or he only 20 saw it in, saw it a few weeks ago. He was trying to find out. And then when he heard the podcast saying I still worked at a hospital, he couldn't believe it. Yeah, he lives in Deerfield. But, so he drove to the Delray Medical Center yeah, just to just say to, hi. Just because he saw me in the podcast. That's almost 20 years. Wow. And he says his girlfriend lives on Atlantic Avenue. And she actually looks like Christina Broccolini. Oh, yeah. Of course. And it all comes back. No, I'm sorry. His ex... His ex-wife, that was his girlfriend at the time, now is his ex-wife, and she wanted to let him know. God, I can't believe, and he was surprised how ripped I got. And he says, I look great. He goes, I don't know if these people are making fun of. He says, I look awesome. So, it was a blast from the past. But And I was trying to find the guy for years, you know, look on whatever. Director of Census couldn't find him, but yeah, he has a business of his own now, but it was almost 20 years. And he's the one that, he knew Andrew Kalora. Couldn't believe it, his transformation either. So, I have his I have his phone number. We're going to get him on the phone one of these weeks. Hopefully, you can get Mike on here too. 
He's got a lot of good stories from way back when. Who's Mike again? Tarazana. Okay. My first one. You got his number now? Yeah, he gave me his number. All but right. Yeah, he's, he's very good. He's very... It's just, you know, the call-in shit kind of can... I'd rather have somebody here in person. Oh, he can be here in person, yeah. yeah over the Definitely. phone shit is. He'd be a, he has some good stories. He was telling me, I was like, holy cow. You know, back when I was making butter, putting butter in my protein shakes. Tell him to come yeah. next week or the week after that. Right, yeah, I will. He's, he's invited. He's good. He'd be good on the mic. Give yeah. him a call. Why were you putting butter in your protein? Just for calories. I just wanted to get big at the time. Can you so, do, like... Olive oil or so actually, you know, my, my first Eat more. three yeah. real training partners that I've trained with extended periods of time is Mike Terrazano, Andrew Calora, and Mark Capolini. All three Italian guys, all three good benchers. Obviously, Andrew Calora. That being synthol Mark, right. just for the viewers. Yeah, we trained about two years together. Did our upper body and stuff. Yeah, Mark's fucking strong. But yeah, was a, just from seeing the podcast, I was shocked to see this guy. I don't think Mark even goes to LA Fitness anymore. He only goes to a planet. Planet, I think. Huh. The same Planet Fitness that Millennium yeah. to. I've never We're seen him there. We're members there too. Yeah, I know. I, just I never go. Guys. Yeah, we go like I'll go Saturday morning. That's yeah. About it. I've never seen Mark there. Is it Maybe it's there different times. You go late though, right? I usually go after work at like five or five <sighs> thirty. That's gotta be I know. the worst. I know, but I'm time. not gonna wake up. You're not a morning early. person. I am, but I just. I don't, is there I don't anyone know, there who early. jumps rope? Like they yes, do at LA Fitness. There is, there is. Is this, this like a new guy. thing now with people jumping rope in a gym? Because we're seeing it more and more at our LA Fitness. It's good cardio. Have you ever? No, but you're not in a weight room. Like, it's fine. I get it, but don't do it right in the middle of the fucking weight yeah. room, right next to the Dumbbell benches rack? and shit. Yes, yeah, no, that's right stupid. Right go in a stretching there. area. Yeah, exactly. All that empty yeah. going to be seen. Exactly. Right. Or go yeah. to the personal training section. They want yeah. the fuck out of here. They want everybody to hear the <laughs> sound, so they all <laughs> yeah. look at them. It, you know. That couple the other day, those two fucks, they left their gym bags like right in the middle of the fucking eye. They just take up the whole fucking. Uh. That's why I can't. I can't do. That was at L.A. Oh yeah. That's why I yeah. can't go there. There's no gym etiquette. No, at all. it's it's bad. It yeah. really is. They have great equipment. They just yeah. the people there. It's just a nice suck. gym, and I would go there, but. Yeah, I don't. I don't want any of the people that go to really any of the LA fitnesses. Any time of day, there's fucking douchebags. Yep. Th- late when we went late that one time. Oh my fucking god, <laughs> we were ready to kill everybody in there. Four guys working out together. How do you work out? And they're like four all on one fucking, machine, yeah, four standing fucking around people. talking. You're right. Talk, not even, not even on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very and the girls that go there, granted, they're you know gorgeous, but they, nah, they come well. Not all of them. them. You know, they come in like full makeup, and you know their hair doesn't. I, it's just like doesn't well, make looking. any sense to me. Yeah, I know. I know what you're doing, but like, come on. I think nighttime is a, it's a more of a hookup spot Absolutely. than it is to work out. I've never been to either of our LAs at night. I've only gone in the morning and say. I went to the one at Gateway at like six one night. Oh, shit, what a fucking where Lou went. Yeah. And the old world gym just still sits I there. I know. I'm surprised MDs. they haven't, they haven't done anything with it. MD. It's a dead plaza and they yeah, want too much money for rent right there. Yeah. It, and they haven't redone that plaza. It's a fucking shithole. It's such a shame because it was such a great gym and we had free reign to do whatever we wanted. Yeah. That that's a lot of people will still message me, why don't you do more workout videos and more gym videos? That world gym, it was it was not only our gym, but it was also like our own personal TV studio. Yeah, nobody they gave didn't a give shit. two fucks. What nobody we did gave there. a shit what yeah. we did. We ran that gym. We owned that gym. We it just it was our sanct- even, even, our sanctuary. Even you know? the old people that were there just laughed. They didn't even give a shit all the mm-hmm. stuff we would just scream across the yeah, gym. Coach was the best manager. Oh, uh, he was great. Yeah. yeah. Not only that, I mean, if we got out of hand, he would tell us, "Look, you know," but we never did. It's not like he let us do everything. He ran the gym right. <laughs> The guy that owned it didn't run it right because he owed Apparently like one hundred and fifty thousand. He looked like he never walked, uh, I saw walked out a gym in his life. Exactly. I just thought of a great. Just talking about the old world gym, so many memories come back. But one in particular that was not caught on camera. It was the first time Lenny ever snotted in a video. <laughs> Do you remember you were doing the bent over rows when Nate was there? And you're like, Nate, Nate. <laughs> and then when you finished your set, the T-bar rows, you shot the snot out of your uh. nose. And we all started laughing. And then the video faded to black. Mm. Had I kept filming that, Brad, you were there. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> this guy was in the weight room. We, none of us had ever seen him before. And you had a handful of snot. Ew. <laughs> Literally. Nate's hand. No, you went, up uh. to, you went up to this guy in the weight room. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember you, that, yeah. you went, hi, how you doing? I'm Big Lenny. And you shook his hand. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And I yeah. ran out of the fucking gym laughing my ass off. And to this day, I wish I had filmed that. I yeah. stopped filming too soon. <laughs> that was one of the funniest things I'd ever seen in that gym, man. <laughs> you are filthy. You remember that, right? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Gross. <laughs> oh, that's great. Ew. Oh, but you spitting in his face too. I nasty. enjoyed that. Oh, you did. Huh? Was Absolutely. it on his face? Was it his face? It was. It got in his beard. I know that. I'd probably do it again too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He'd want you to piss in his face. <laughs> well, was it him that wouldn't drink a cup of my? Oops, piss, sorry, though? buddy. Didn't I offer to do that? Pee in a cup for him? I don't remember. <laughs> Pretty I sure I want, did. I think he wanted a pregnant woman's piss. Correct. Yeah, that's what it was. That's what. So but you, I did offer so to pee in get, a cup for when him. When you get knocked up, he'll drink it. I'll make sure to let you guys know that's right. when that happens. <laughs> How old are you? I just turned 30. Wow. Oh, no shit. The big yeah. 3-0. That's, mm-hmm. that's very uh, dramatic for women when they turn 30. Everything's downhill from here. No, it's yeah. not. My ovaries Bullshit. might as well just dry up and fall out, right? <laughs> 40s a new 30. Yeah. Exactly. Well, at least that's 30, what we, that's what we tell ourselves. All my best years have been after the age of 30. All my best trips, all the best friends I've made, people I've met, life experiences. I love my 20s, but 30 and up's been great. Yeah, I agree. 30, 35 and up for me. <laughs> <laughs> that's four years. <laughs> Actually, the last three since I've fucking got a little freedom. Ugh. I'll be 39 Friday. I, Andrew and I were just discussing everyone. Yeah. I want to read something to Lenny. Hold on a second. So this guy named Andy Lloyd sent me a message on Facebook, and he asked me to address you, Lenny. He wants your opinion on something. Let me click on this link. Hold on a second. You sure you want his <laughs> opinion? Uh, 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 just waiting for this to load. My opinion has proved to be facts, whether or not now in the future. Okay. School administration offers shifting excuses for cancellation. University will not comment. The University of Minnesota Morris has threatened a student radio show with cancellation after one of the hosts used the word tranny on on air with campus officials offering several shifting reasons for pulling the show from the airwaves. Deplorable Radio is a weekly show on KUMM. Oh, come. Very nice. Mm. (laughs) Hosted by students at Brandon Albrecht and Taylor Lehman. Uh, Blah, blah, blah. Uh, The duo was notified of the cancellation two weeks ago after Albrecht used a controversial word on air to refer to transgender individuals. Lenny, what do you think about that? From what I understand on the books, it's to use the word tranny. Is a federal hate crime. No shit. Yes, and they have Since the right when? to shut you down. That's a fact. I don't know. Probably someone they were doing the Obama administration. All that so stuff. So trans. Oh please. Yes. So trans is derogatory towards them. Yes. And not only what's that, the re- but, what's but, so what can you what can you call them? Then? But they'll all call each other tranny. That's okay. Well, it's, well, it's, that's, that know. goes for a lot of yeah, words, exactly. like unspoken words exactly. that we all know about. You know, it's just you know people accept it. You know, they can take more, take more, put more words on that list. And yeah, everyone's soon, offended well, by had, everything. They had to, yeah, so. they had to pick one word that they want to be offended by. Well, there's other ones, but what, that's actually one of them. What percentage of the population do transgender people make up? Point oh 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 one percent. Right. Yeah. So why the fuck are we pandering to them? Why are we worried about which bathroom they use? Know, if you have a dick, you use the men's room. If you have a pussy, you use the woman's room. I don't know, but case that, closed. Yeah. Okay, it. but let's say it. like a man who is. I don't want to say masquerading as a woman, but a, a man who then he's either a uh, fucking okay. pervert or he's mentally ill. I would not. If I had other. a daughter, <laughs> if I had a daughter that I was taking into the ladies' room and a transgender man was in there, it might weird me out because. Of, like, but a lot I of the time, kid, you can't you tell. Know? That's the thing, right? I know, but to and they've me, been it's using those like, bathrooms for years. I know. I mean, it, it really doesn't bother me because it doesn't really concern me, but I'm all for every everyone having equal rights, you know, but I don't know. There's got to be a borderline between, like, what's acceptable and what's not, I guess. I just don't think you start changing laws for a point oh oh oh. Oh, one percent of the population. I agree, and that goes for like the military too. What were they saying that like we can't have transgender people mm-hmm. in the military? Uh, well, that's why because, not? That's like, because they were paying for their operation. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that, that I don't sense. fucking agree yeah. with. Correct. Yeah, that I don't agree with either. You are what you are. You know, if yeah. you want to get, if you want to get, it's just like what. That's so not they your get, time. They should go pay for tit jobs then. Right. For, no, no, not? For, for flat-chested women in the military. That's the only yeah. operation yeah. they should yeah. be allowed to have anyway. Is to more cosmetic. tits and more ass. I mean, it's a, it's a cosmetic. <laughs> yeah. Leonard doesn't thing. want them to get rid of that dick. What's the point? <laughs> What's the point? That's the surprise. Yeah, you're kind of cookie cutter. <laughs> Pleasant surprise. <laughs> Pleasant cock surprise. <laughs> that only Lenny looks forward to. Depends. Depends on what. Depends on my mood when I'm taken. <laughs> Whether you want a tranny or not? Pretty much, yeah. It's us now. I don't really want anything. Just 
but you just want to get baby birded and kicked in the balls, right? I would probably do both, but it's not going to be in a sexual in way balls. at all. For you, you no. but not for, the, <laughs> for tell me. the person that gets it done. They, 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 this is a young Lenny just that. got intense with this. Going back to the thing, I just, you know, and I heard the woman, the police officer, I heard the footage her coming in, shutting them down. She actually, you could hear she called one of the guys a cocksucker. Mm. That's real professional for female police officer. Oh, you're talking about the school thing? Yeah, she called him a cocksucker, yeah. So if some, someone Broadcast. doesn't like something you say, you, they can call the oh, police yeah, on you now? It's considered a federal hate crime. That's you're so putting stupid. That there, yeah. Really? No wonder, no wonder crime. why all the videos get demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shit. Because we see tranny in every one. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, my well, God. People love to Land of the do free, that. right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Fucking media. It's all the media's fault. Yeah. They sensationalize everything. Yeah, just like uh, everybody being accused of sexual harassment harassment now out of the woodwork yeah okay coming out of the woodwork please sexually Everybody. harass me <laughs> a fuck. someone needs it, to oh yeah that louis ck oh he was pulling his dick out so no, it's, like, so, it's not Stallone. like he was forcing himself on these broads he just pulled his dick out laugh and walk out of the room if you don't like it if, I know, if you whipped out your I, mean, I wouldn't give a if shit, a woman whipped know? out her tits to you are you gonna be like, that's oh, totally different oh. though it's totally I mean, it's, it's a double it's standard this, i know this, yeah right because a man is more capable of um, hurting you yeah well men don't give a shit if you're naked you know but not we don't necessarily want to see every dick like i get eight to twelve dick pics a day on snapchat i don't want to see any of them how are they Unless, <laughs> any impressive uh, um, pictures a lot of them are like micro peens and i just <laughs> why don't, would they i don't know i don't know and it's them holding it and are they hoping in to between get their two fingers are they hoping to get something of you in know. return? Yeah, probably. Maybe they like the humiliation oh, type yeah. aspect oh, of it. What's they're, that? They're getting off on it for kids that age, I'm sure. I mean, these they are like them. grown men. Are, are you really? sure? Yeah, yeah, I was about to say. Yes, because I get faces with some of them. Wow, and, that's yeah, ballsy. I know, it, it's bold. And like, I don't care, any female... <laughs> I mean, every female gets dick pics. You know, they do. And, I, like, I don't want a dick pic unless I request it. Which, I mean, I might, you know, with someone that I'm with. Like, but... It's silly anyway. If you want just, to just see it in person. Like, yeah, fucking send a dick pic. Dude, you gotta be fucking well, stupid. People that the flashers, you know, that's like a dream come true. Yeah, but you know what's crazy? Was, when I was in Barcelona this summer... The, they're naked all over the beach. Oh, Nobody yeah. Gives yeah. A Correct. Nobody That's gives right. a shit. Well, the best is after There's I get the There's young people, old people, That's but... Right. Totally and no, naked. And, oh, yeah. And nobody looks twice yeah. except the tourists that look like, oh, my God, oh, my God, yeah. oh, my God. Sexuality in Europe is very different than it is here in the yeah, States. It's you were there. I was there. You, you know. It's unbelievable. And there's a lot of people that are naked that shouldn't be walking around naked. That's you don't usually want to how nude beaches go. Right. But there was a lot here. of nice looking people yeah, I'm sure. naked. Believe me. Nice looking people. This is interesting. So you're talking about nice looking talking men. Talking about women. 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 Men. Women. Said people. He, That's he a Freudian. Well, no. Some, some, dudes Freudian will walk, some dudes will walk around with nothing. Just to how fuck do you know? You look in there? With a bush. <laughs> Leonard, you can't help but fucking look. When you're from here and you I go can. somewhere like... Yes, you do. Okay. They look like... What was the guy's name from The Hangover? Chow? Chow? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck are you doing, man? Ew. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> Is that his name? I think it? so. Did you I ever see The Hangover? No. Oh, you should watch You'd it. You'd probably love it. Speaking of which, you need to watch that 30 for 30 on Ric Flair. If you ever want to watch it, I have it saved here. I watched it the other night, finally, after recording it. It's amazing. Really good. I'll, good. I'll leave you here when I leave. You can stay and watch. <laughs> Get, Thanks, Brad. Home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm looking forward to it one of these days. Yeah, next Monday or Tuesday. Next Monday, if you want to come over during the day, I'll pick you up. It's okay. amazing. Really good stuff. Yeah, I learned a lot of stuff about him I never even knew. We were talking about that this morning with Brad. Sun dying. Yeah, we'll wait for you to see it, then we'll talk about yeah. it. Yeah. What are you looking at, Emma? Oh, I was looking at my Snapchat because some people were sending me some things. Someone said, I saw Emma. Brad talk shit on his story. Fuck him. Because they, you were talking shit about me. <laughs> I talk shit about everybody. <laughs> I know. But I'll talk shit to your face, too. Yeah. Who cares? And I don't mind if you talk shit back. Of course. That's what these idiots don't realize. One of my over 100 phone calls I got from Maniacs, I answered one today. When it shot out, another cookie cutter term, the Carlos from Kingston, Jamaica. Oh. It's going to be coming up here to Orlando. Come on, come on. Around the New Year. He's a big, big, big fan. And he actually, it's funny, he said, uh, this is the calling from the third world shithole, Kingston, Jamaica. I Kingston is awful. I heard I've it's been a there. shithole. But he was like, shithole. same guy. He's training outside in homemade gyms, no gear. Training hard and actually killing their goats and chickens right after the workout, hunting them down, grilling them up. 
Yeah, it's an intimidating place, definitely. You said there's, there's a lot of nice Amazons guns, like, on down the street. there. Like, it's he can hook there. me up. Big Amazon, six foot four, in shape. I said, yeah, that's what I want for breeding purposes. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> you're shooting blanks. All the shit that you run through your body, there's no way your sperm is good. Oh, we'll no see. Take chance. some HCG. That may help. I take that. That may help. I take the liquid. It's good for your balls. <laughs> There's a guy from Australia that wanted a shout out, Omar Sarek. There's your fucking shout out. Now send <laughs> send us fifteen buck. <laughs> you should charge for this shit, like yeah, Jason. For real. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm curious to see what kind of shoes this guy fucking sends us. He says he's gonna send you slip-ons. Mm-hmm. Probably gonna be some like fucking old man diabetic Velcro <laughs> fucking shoes. Just send me some uh, Air Monarchs and I'm good. Yeah, Dale sent me the nicest pair, just a little too small, but you still know, have size. Oh yeah, mint condition. Mint condition. Size 13, if anybody wants Yeah, we had to raffle them off. <laughs> raffle them off. They have half a Lenny's fungus in them. Or I could mm. send them to Lucy in Alabama. Oh, my Mobile, God. Mobile, Alabama. Did she get back on? She got back on, and she got taken off. And I see the whole... Did you get the phone number, at least, so we can call her? No, I didn't think... That. I thought it'd be on forever, but I see she changed the whole format of Backpage Alabama. Well, next time you do it, right? If the you look at down. it now... 90% of them is just phone numbers, which I've never seen before. No pictures? Before, they were all a, a brief description. Now it's on. I wonder why that happens. It's like all phone numbers now. Thank you, maniacs. Uh-huh. Yeah. These trolls got power, man. But she had a few new outfits on, too, in her pictures. In addition to the Best Buy, Best Buy shirt that said Best Butt on it. Remember that? Oh, classy. And that one picture? <laughs> Well, if you're on back page, you're yeah. expecting class on there. Oh, I know. I thought they like shut that down, kind of, yeah, in this area, because there was the there was like two incidents that happened. They like, shut down the escort, but now it's just women seeking men or men seeking well, women, yeah. which is basically. You might as well just go on seeking arrangements. You know, dot com. Why don't you put yourself on there, Leonard? Seeking arrangements. Can you come? Can you imagine coming across his profile? <laughs> What would you say on your dating profile? Some women might like to fucking abuse, abuse I would say, you for a night. Shit on you, do all that mm. shit. They probably pay a lot of money. Man. I, I'm looking for a six foot plus tan women <laughs> <laughs> or a tran. And, uh, that excludes like 80% oh, so you, can, of the population you say, here. You could say tran, but not tran knee. Is tran okay? I have no idea. It's just beyond me. But I don't, you know, I'm not going to... Tranny is just an abbreviation for tranny. Yeah. It isn't even derogatory. Right. It's, like, it's like abbreviating Jew for Jewish. Correct. Well, they, yeah, they but just, if you well, say he's a Jew, it does sound kind of like not that nice. Yeah. You know? Well, the slur for Jews is kike, but... I mean, yeah, but I'm not... You ever see, Hebe's really... You think Hebe, that's I've never heard Hebe? that one. Yeah. Is it? Hebe? Yeah. See, you I grew up... I grew up, no. I grew up down My dad's here. Jewish, Most, but... And I grew up in Boca, so most a lot of my friends were Jewish, and we all call them Hebes. They didn't give a shit. Yeah. Nobody cares. You guys don't... I mean, it's, there's only certain people that get offended by the name calling. Yeah, so yeah. weak-minded and right. that frail, like, uh, that mm-hmm. creep out in California. And besides, Judaism is a religion. You choose your religion. You don't choose your nationality. Right. That's why I don't like when people say Jews are a race. Well, Judaism is a religion. Just right. like Christianity. Just like Muslim would like, be, yeah. Like if you ask someone, oh, what are you? Oh, I'm Jewish. No, it's no, not, an, it's you're not white. a... <laughs> it's yeah. not an ethnicity, no. Right. Like you can... But at the same time... I mean, it's not an ethnicity, but you can, you know, like if I say my mom's Jewish, that makes me, you know, Jewish. According to Jewish law, that makes you Jewish. Like Correct. my dad is Jewish, but... But oh, again, that's all... I was going to ask you, Guy, but that's Jewish. Guy, it's German, but it's, it's Jewish, yeah. Mm-hmm. Daddy issues or no? Um, n- not really. No, so I don't think so. Why'd you go off so. the rails? Uh, I don't know. I I honestly don't. I'm the only one. I'm the only person in my family that had any kind of like addiction. Do you problems. have any siblings? I do. I have a half sister who is. I think she's about to. She's about to be thirty eight. Yeah, everyone in my family is completely normal except for me. I got I got stuck with with everything. Oh, well, what's um, normal? Yeah. Well, they're not drug addicts and they're not psychotic, and I am. Well, you're a psychotic drug yeah, addict. I mean, I was. All right. I was. Yeah, but if I just met you and I didn't know anything about your past, I wouldn't think you're quote unquote abnormal. You seem like a cool chick. Yeah. I, I'd like to think I'm pretty cool. Yeah. But, you know. What was your drug of choice? It was heroin. Heroin. Heroin and I. Heroin and Ritalin, strangely enough. Uh, how, how many years? Uh, I started using heroin when I was 14. So that's what you used first, right into heroin? Um, no, I started with like weed and party drugs, like ketamine and ecstasy, and then 
Um, I dated a guy who was 18 and I was 14 and he started selling heroin and showed me how to do it and I was I was off to from there but I was scared with a needle at first I didn't start with a needle until I was like Uh. but I still I still graduated high school I still worked the whole time I went to college like I was pretty functional for for a while but you know obviously not for that long came down to Florida for a reason so how many years did you do it do heroin? Huh? Um, from age fourteen, and then I got clean at twenty-five. Holy shit! Yeah. So you've been cleaning up for five years. Almost. No, Good. four years, because I I had just turned twenty-six. <laughs> I just turned twenty-six okay. when I got clean. So you you, were, you just got clean right after we met you then? Mm, when did we? I you think were, I, you were I think I was like I think I, I was like, like two or three twenty-seven years. or twenty-eight. A year or two clean, I think. Yeah no chance of ever going back i mean there's always a chance like that's always kind of how it goes but like what they teach you in the program is to not focus on like oh i can never like if i was an alcoholic like oh i can never drink again they teach you to not focus on that it's just like not drink like today and then you're good can you go out and have a glass of wine um that would be like well me i i don't like drinking I really don't. Um, I prefer not to because I don't enjoy it whatsoever. That's kind of like if you ask an alcoholic, like, can you, you know, take some Percocet? Like, they probably could, but they might get addicted to it. When you got clean, hmm. one thing you always hear about with addicts when they get clean is they suffer from what's called a transfer of addiction. So where yeah. They get clean off drugs, but they become addicted to something else. Like, yeah, like a lot sex, of pe- shopping, correct. working Cigarettes. out. Relationships, yeah. a, mm-hmm. another person. Did anything like that happen to you? you um, I'm kind of thankful that it was just working out. But it did get to be like a little bit of a problem because uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's a little hot in here. <laughs> it's always, We've got, it's we're starting hot. to get used to yeah. it. Yeah. Um, let me think. Well, I started with an eating disorder probably when I was like age 12 and... What kind of eating disorder? Anorexia. Um. I was never bulimic or anything like that, but (coughs) I was anorexic from age 11 or 12 up until like when I came down here, I was 83 pounds and I'm I'm 140 now. How tall are you? I'm just brushing 5'2". So I was, it was pretty bad. And then, you know, I, of course, like anybody else, gained a bunch of weight and treatment. And I just decided to, like, do something about it instead of sitting around complaining, you know, and being unhealthy. So, That's a good transfer of addiction, though, from yeah, being absolutely, an addict to going absolutely. to the gym. Absolutely. Like- There's girls in the gym that I see now, sometimes at, um, you know, the gym, where, like, there's something called exercise induced anorexia where like they work out like so much that they're burning everything that they're eating and they're there for like hours and they look they look gross yeah that's you know like the girl at the old world gym remember her the yeah one with the yeah yeah she was a real i'm bitch. friends with her on facebook yeah the one she, with the yo, she is yeah. a bitch she's a real we bitch should bring her on Oh, she's. I one don't. Day, I don't day, like I her at all. One day she was very talkative with me, and then the next time I saw her, I started talking to her. She's like, "I don't talk while I'm working out." I'm like, "Well, fuck you then." Yeah, she came up to me. But the, the other day you were all fucking talkative, she, and she's a fucking. She's quack. probably in the background of some of the old Misfit videos if you guys watch. I, don't doubt I, it. I Yo, remember she her. Was Jay awful. Masters would get into it with her once in a while. She's a, she's oh, a yeah. bitch. I've talked to her outside of the gym also. She came up to me at the gym one time and was like, "Hey, if you ever need help with that hair of yours, let me know. I'm a hairdresser." Ooh. I was like. Yo, that what is it? hair of yours. Go wow. fuck yourself. Like, wow. I don't need any of your help. She I don't even know your name. You ever need any help with that Tom Flats of abs and make it bigger? <laughs> I'll help you. That's the equivalence. Ugh. <laughs> I yeah, Jay Masters was puking after a set in the garbage can, rightfully so. He did a heavy set of deadlifts, and she walked up and said, "You're disgusting." <laughs> uh, she's disgusting. She's she not w- entirely wrong. She would yeah, wear, true, that, yeah, true. <laughs> she would wear that full eyeshadow. Ugh. Some guys liked it. Though. There's a few that were Ew. not she's too. Way there were a few. Too, way too. Remember, guys, she's come up. What do you think about that? To hear what I'd said, not my type, and then they confess. Yeah, some women are skinny but still have some curves. Guys like it. No, she was like she a ruler. Had nothing like an ironing board for an ass <laughs> no flat ass yeah go do some squats you cunt all she did was like cardio i mean that's the look that you'll get if that's all you do uh, whatever <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> she told me what are you staring at not you <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i was staring i was like what the hell <laughs> so fucking skinny yeah break her right in half yep 
Yeah, he'd probably like that. Lenny, can you imagine if we had a camera back in 1998, 99 at the old, old world gym, if YouTube was around then, an HD camera in that gym with you, Kalora, Big Richard, Saul. Remember the trainer with the bear claw marks on his back? Yeah, Brandon Supposedly. Hoof. Correct. That place that made character. our world gym look like a, a church. There were so many whack jobs in that gym. Holy shit. The original world gym. Richard eyeing me up the first time I heard something, giving me these dirty looks across the gym. I said, you got to put your weights away? <laughs> you know, honestly, you know, he was right. Oh, yeah. I had no problem with it. He was, I used to call him, I put when, him I first I met, argue, when I first I met him, I was I was on his side. Me and him both said something to a guy about putting his weights back. And then I, from there we hit now, if you tell me I used to call him Richard the gym police. The, the weight <laughs> Nazi. Yeah. Like from Seinfeld, the soup Nazi. I never saw it. <laughs> I love that though, man. I agree with everything he said, yeah. man. He was great like that. Fuck is this cat licking the goddamn bag? He's definitely losing his mind. No, he's always done that ever since I got him. He likes to lick plastic. Mm. I have no idea why. It's tasty. Kimbo. Oh, uh, Leonard. We gotta get Kimbo on camera. That's why he gets a soft him. coat from the parabens and the plastic. <laughs> <laughs> Very oh, soft for 14 about. years yeah. old. Brad, go ahead and film him. I'll snap fucking fat pussy over here. Mm. <laughs> she says, mm. Mm. <laughs> Yum. Hey, he's smiling. Oh, he's, he's looking. Fat pussy, and everybody wants it. Get out of here. <laughs> That's Leonard's favorite cat, Kimbo. Yeah. All the stray cats next door, the animal control rounded them up, took them away. There about five of them. Yeah, what's with all the stray cats where you live? They're gone now. But there's a school teacher. She lives across the street. She actually had a. It's one of the Haitians that cook a, them a up. A giant pig in there. Ew. She had a giant pig living inside the house. He came out one time. I go, what the hell? It's like 400 pounds. No shit. Yeah. The fucking living inside. Probably crap everywhere. What house? Right across from me. That woman. Uh, she's a oh. little. She's a tiny little. Not that kid that always comes out and screams no, at to us the, when we're filming. Next to his. To the left or to the right? To the left of his. Yeah. Okay. All right. Looks There's, like a jungle over there. Yeah. The 400 pound pig standing walking. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> I would but have I like told, a teacup pig. Those are cute. Yeah, this is gigantic. But I was told pot it's, belly pig. they'll gore you. They'll can sense blood in your groin and they'll charge mm -hmm. you and cut you. Then you you'll, you'll about bleed a boar? out. Yeah. Yeah. Was it a boar or like a pig? Well, I think a boar is like a male pig. Mm -hmm. But the male no, there's pig. There's like a wild boar. A male pig like, can have tusks and it knows what it's doing. It'll, you'll I, bleed what? to death. Are you sure that a They're male dangerous. pig can have tusks? Yeah. Like a regular, I I like a pig a, that lives on a farm. Yeah, I think a boar and a pig are different things. Two, they're different. Yeah. They're Pigs the same. Still, you ever see Silence of the with the second one with that guy in the wheelchair when they dumped him in? This, this what pigs ate him? Yeah, you know but I don't about? think any of those no. pigs. I know what you're talking about. The but second I don't think Silence any of, the, of the Lambs. None of those pigs had. What's like, that called? Red Dragon. Uh, it was a pre. Uh, it was a prequel. There's there's Hannibal. There's Red Dragon. There's. Uh, I think it was uh, Hannibal. Yeah. Hannibal. I think the Hannibal guy in the wheelchair. Where he's eating and he cuts off the yeah. skull cat and he's eating his brains and then he feeds it to the dude in the wheelchair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a great scene. Let's see, is, what go is, kill what those is, pigs, Dale. They'll, they'll rip you apart. Uh, what is Caber? Down. What's Caber? It's Caber Golding. Jay Masters always talks about it. It causes you to have multiple ejaculations mm. because when a male ejaculates, his, his uh, what is the term? Uh, goes, there's this chemical is released. So you can't ejaculate for a while. Refractory period. Yeah, and it reduces the refractory period. So, hmm. forgetting that I'm not a little, <clears throat> I'm a little off tonight. But what is the name of that chemical? It's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, prolactin. Mm. Your prolactin level. Your body it shoots out prolactin, so you're not able because it's very stressful for a man to be able to ejaculate over and over again. It takes up a lot of energy and the nature's designed for men not to do and it. A lot Are of you talking about like and, and a one lot. after another yeah, after yeah, another? Yeah. Is there any like downtime in between like a few seconds? I'm or? sure there is but you go get a much significant increase in that. It can take a lot of money too. And there's another drug called bromocryptine <laughs> that does that. And exactly. I kind of think the Premipexol which Dr. Tony Hughes talks about as an anti prolactin medication. Well, he wants to come on the podcast, actually. He'll, he'll be at the Nationals. I think that's this week. I don't know, it was in, last week. It was yesterday, two days in, ago. He's in Dubai right now. Oh. But somebody, here, I'll show you the message. He messaged me a while ago. Yeah, he's a genius. He'll come on he has a good, straightforward approach. Highly recommend his channel to everybody. Who is this? Enhanced Athlete is the name of the site. Dr. Tony Hughes. Somebody screenshotted that from a, one of Which his one videos. is him, on the right or the left? 
He's the one on the left. Does he live here in town? I don't know where and he he's lives. got a, it's a guy he's on a with him. Right that right would be so menty. Oh, he's aware. Well, no, that's his response. He's an ex-California oh, okay. lawyer that I think has retired with so much money. Now he does this because all over the world. Yeah, he's fun to follow. He's man. not afraid to do Good anything. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Tons of information. We could fucking pick his brain for a while. Lifelong lifter. Yeah. His assistant sidekick. This guy's bigger, biggest branch one. Yeah. Very, very, very big. Yeah. Cuts down everything down. Tells you about how is it good to stand 400 megs of test forever. What's a good, how to use Anadrol. He recommend a pre-workout, things like that. That really help you spur gains along. And Jake tried to call me too. Should I call him back? See what he's got sure, to say. Sure, why not? Jay called you? Hmm. See if he answers. <laughs> Get him on live, right? Okay. Yeah, we'll see. What time is it? Seven. He's probably got two in him Seven. already. <laughs> two tall boys. <laughs> two what's in him? Yeah. That's the question. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? You're we're on the podcast and you're on speaker. I just got off the phone with my friend Dale Chance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was just on the phone with Dale Chance. Okay, what did he say? Are you gonna go get some deer meat or what? Dale and I are training chest tomorrow at uh, Yukon Cornelius's gym. Yukon Cornelius. Nice. That's a great name. That's good. So you made nice with each other, huh? Ask Dale why he kills deer in a canned hunt. Would yeah. you do that? Who's that? Is that fucking the G in the background? Yes. Talking? What yeah. did he say? He said, why did, ask Dale why he kills a deer in a, in a canned hunt, right? Is that what it's called? A canned hunt, yes. Um, you know, I think we could talk about that at a different time because... Um, oh, you're going to play nice now because you want some yeah, free, you want some free yeah, nice. Exactly. Uh-huh. Now. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> What's Andrew done for me lately? Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Are you getting your Instagram back? I don't know. Did you? Tr- I don't know. Did you? Tr- anyway, Dale is Dale is um picking me up at the truck stop. We're gonna go train at the Decon gym um tomorrow. And you're gonna do and, chest. Uh, we're gonna do chest. So it's a good thing I didn't go to LA Fitness tonight and do chest. Don't worry, you still beat Dale. Rep for rep, I'm sure. Is he? Is he? Yes, that's Leonard. You want to talk to him? Hi, Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 put, I put the I put the link on there. You guys go on Facebook. Why, why yeah, don't you get? A, why don't you get a Snapchat? It's fun. You you'll be yeah, just fine. He probably love it's hard, it. It's hard to get kicked off of there. I've gotten some shit deleted, but not much. Only when I I showed Leonard looking at uh, some tranny porn. Mm. They, re- they reported me. But. I'm going to address Prince Andrew's question about the canned hunt. Okay, I'm go ahead. I don't want you to address it. I want. Da- I don't want you to address it. I want Dale to address it. Um, but you can. Ad- Warren buys two buffalo a year with his credit card because he's a fucking cookie cutter. Who? You know, Dale. Let's, so Dale fucking pulled out his credit card and went and shot one with his gun. What's the fucking difference? I'd rather shoot one with my gun than be a cookie cutter like fucking Branch Warren, a little fucking dwarf, faggot, miniature bodybuilder, who yeah. pulls out his credit card and buys a dead buffalo. What do you mean, Branch is on the hunting channel from what I heard? Well, you buy dead animals in the fucking supermarket too, you asshole. What are you talking about? I mean, it must be me. Yeah, exactly. The one, okay. the Branch Warren that lives two doors down from you, Brad. Yeah. Out with some men and shoot some fucking guns. If you're gonna <laughs> your meat, fucking go shoot it yourself. Make sure you get some of that meat. It is fucking good. I'll second venison. That. Yes, I like venison. No, it's good. Especially it's fresh too. Shit. No, is he gonna? I don't even think that deer's on its way back yet. Oh, is he gonna cook for you too, or are you just gonna go work out? How far is it? Not that far. Twenty miles each way. So you're you're not going to get drunk tonight, then? I'm drinking a couple forties of malt liquor. <laughs> a, couple, <laughs> a couple of forties of malt. What time liquor. is he picking you up? I'm not sure, but Dale told me he gets off work at three thirty tomorrow. Um, so it, it, it's, you don't know in the trucking industry. Who knows? But um, what about? So I, what, what about Thanksgiving? What are you doing for Thanksgiving? You'll be on the road? Um, yeah. Wow. I'm not coming home until the Friday the 22nd. So they pay you double time? Oh, fuck no. 
Oh, so you don't have a union then, huh? No, fuck no. That blows. Sucks for you, pal. Unions only work when everybody is union. But that would be the Soviet Union. (laughs) (laughs) How about you? Do you work on Thanksgiving? You're off. Not putting the request. Mom, I don't know if she's physically able to cook, but she likes doing that on the holidays, so we'll see. But You're going to your mother's? My brother should just take us to the restaurant, like you always said, take take the tab. But what restaurant? Well, we never been to one, but my mother said she's not physically able to cook anymore. Hey, Brad. Yes, Jay. I want to I wanna take a moment, because we bust Dale's balls beyond belief. <laughs> yes, we do. And they will be busted as soon as you leave North Carolina beyond belief. Balls than we could ever ask them to and I want them to keep it up. But I want to take time to fucking really tell people how good of a guy Dale is. When, when, I, when I called him about an hour ago and I said, Dale, I'm going to be in Charlotte. He's like, what time are you going to be here? Where are you staying? Do you want to train? Time you want to... That guy does not give a fuck about his schedule. He is such a good guy. I'm, he's like, yeah, I get off work about 3.30. I'm going to train about 4.30. Well, shit, I'm not going to be there until about 6.30. Oh, I'll wait for you. I mean, I wouldn't do that for somebody. Dale is a fucking good fucking person and a good friend. We know that. We know that. That's why we break his balls. Because he can take it sometimes. <laughs> balls harder than anybody. But I, I'm going to be the first one to stick up for that guy. He's a good fucking guy. You break his you break his balls more than anybody, and you'd be the first one to lick his balls too. <laughs> I'd be the first one to lick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll we'll film something and post it on his shit since you're you're still banned for being an asshole. Yeah, I know. I'm bad. I'm a very bad person. We know that. That's okay. <laughs> That's why we love you. We're all sick. I want, I want Emma to give Lenny a couple kicks in the balls. You just stand up. She said so she I can would, but he's not. He's not in the mood right now. He didn't take any of his fenibut, so. Uh, I'd do it. I have a sex pain. drive of a three-year-old lady. Well, that's no fun. <laughs> he said he's got a sex drive of a three-year-old lady. Three-year-old girl. Or an eighty-year-old lady. <laughs> oh, that's because he's not listening to me. He's crashing. Fenibut crash. Yeah. Yeah. Tell him what you were telling us, please. Lenny, do not crash. Do not ever go off your testosterone. Mm-hmm. Um, you have to stay at at least 200 milligrams a week, or you are going to lose so much muscle. Yeah. In fact, I think you should... I'm going to stay at four. I'm going to stay at one shot a week. One shot a what week. You, what, what was your plan, what you think he should do? Go ahead. I think Lenny should um, do about 400 milligrams of testosterone a week for at least a month. Um, with nothing else, um, and 400 is quite a bit. You can stay strong as fuck on 400. If, 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 if you lose strength and mass on 400 megs a test a week, you were never meant to be that big anyway. Because th- th- that's one of my philosophies. You can only be as big as you are on your cruise cycle. I mean, who cares how big you are on your blast cycle? You know what I mean? That's an interesting point. I never really heard that before. I want to see how big you are on your cruise cycle. That's what kind of man you really are. So, <laughs> do, you think, do you think you could just do that? I can do it, yeah. I'm a, I have that in mind now. To just get off of everything except tests? Yes, I have enough until the yeah. new year. Yeah, he said It's going to be one do. cc every Monday till the 1st of January, and then I'll be blasting, but no trend. All right, good. Trend's oh. still in my system. I had a hard time this weekend. almost passed out at the gym. almost passed out when I saw Emma last week doing Smith Machine squats. Couldn't freaking breathe. Gasping for air and nothing comes out. Pump to hell, though. Pump to be- beyond belief. But Not worth it. I think he's going to take your advice, Jay. We'll see. Definitely. He said he is, certainly. There you go. You can't, you can't crash. Yeah, I mean, I've got... Crashing ne- off your testosterone is going to cause more health problems than staying on testosterone. Yes. Plus the joint pain, or I won't be able to lift. Speak up, sir. Yeah, I really t- I can see that. I did, when I did that last year, I really it hurt me bad. You're a mental depression, you know, it's bad enough. 
All right. So there you go. You got through to him, Jay. Congratulations. Let's see if he actually does it. Go ahead. Yes. He's listening. Yes. There's also another philosophy called bridging. Yeah. What's that? Um, some people blast and cruise. Some people bridge. Now, if you wanted to bridge, I didn't even tell you this. A lot of guys bridge with like Hanover and, and um, growth hormone or Masteron and growth hormone or Masteron and Anavar. Those are the three biggest bridging compounds. Is that included with the test? And growth hormone. You include tests with that? And then you, then you come back on a blast cycle after bridging. Did you, did you include test with that, he asked? No. No. No kidding. Huh. Now you do, like, Menestron and Anavar with your HCG and your, your post-cycle therapy protocol. Yeah. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna stick with it. Not that sophisticated. Yeah. He's like the fucking early primate. He needs to just blast and cruise. Yeah. Yeah. He 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 sounds. He's being pretty receptive to that. I think that's what he's gonna do. Yeah. Your body yeah. break too. What are you? Are you sm- Are you smoking? Or are you having trouble breathing? Me? Yeah, you. I just took a piss. Oh. You breathe heavy like that when you take a piss? Trend. Oh, I got a football in my ass right now. <laughs> now Michigan had a football in their ass Saturday. Hey, go fuck yourself. I like the Miami Hurricanes, so don't pick on my team. No, I know. Yeah, so I'm gonna be with Dino Chance tomorrow, so the, the men's are gonna be fucking epic. All right, good. So we can watch you kissing his ass the whole time you're there. <laughs> you talk shit behind his back, but not to his face, you fat pussy. Okay. <laughs> maybe he'll get you. Maybe he'll get you a medium shirt, or let you borrow one of his wife's shirts, like you did when you were here. His wife shirt. <laughs> yeah, that day you were wearing your 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 girlfriend's shirt to the gym. Remember that blue thing you were wearing? No. Uh-huh. <laughs> what kind of malt liquor are you drinking? Mad Dog or Old English? Steel Reserve. Steel Reserve. How much is that? That was, that was my shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Eight percent. 8.4 alcohol, 8.2 alcohol. Cheap too, right? It's disgusting, but I love oh, yeah. it, yeah. I bet 242. They have, down here in Maryland, or up here in Maryland, they don't have 40 ounces. They got 42 ounces. No shit. Down here, they don't have 40s, do 32, they? 32, that's it. That's they don't so have, there's weird. no 40 ounces down here. That. Only 32 ounces. Yeah. Stupid. All right, I'm going to let, I'm going to let you go, bro. Okay, I'm going to let you go, bro. We'll talk, to, we'll talk tomorrow. Have fun with Dale. Send him our send him our love, okay? All right, later. Goodbye, fuck. <laughs> you so gonna, you're gonna what take you his advice? Well, yeah, we spoke about that. Now that's in the works. I have it all set up as we speak. It's not, nothing complicated about it. Everything's there. Just gotta fall off. I'll probably feel a lot better. You know, be able to breathe again, sleep better. I know it's gonna happen. I'll be sweating less. What do you do? What will you do it for six weeks? Yeah, until the new year. And then I'll go on some heavy hitters, bulk up. About three or four months. Woke up to what? I was just thinking the same thing. 360. 360? What do you weigh now? 325, 330 in between there. How tall are you? 6'2", 6'3". Really? I thought you were taller than that. Yeah, I like the same. It's more like 6'3", 6'4". I wish. Since you're willing to to take advice, why don't we get you to the doctor for that gut? Mm. Yeah, I checked up A sites on... I fit all the symptoms to a T. Symptoms of what? The A sites... That medical condition or something. Asitis. Do you have a doctor? Do you have a gastro doctor or GI? Well, I got my mother. She has a doctor there that, that looks at me. But, but I'm on a liver cleaner now, which is pretty intense. You get a good flush from that. I, I think it's going to significantly go down. Going off the orals, going off the GH, going off the insulin for about six weeks. Your liver enzymes must be like through the roof. Yeah, well, I'm on a liver cleaner now, but yeah. they're going to be significantly better. I guarantee you, in, in six weeks. Yeah, any oral My stomach will be down do quite that. a bit. I mean, I've done it before. But the thing is, you got to push push the limits. you got to overstretch. Now, I like to get some EPO, if anybody could help me out on that. The thing the endurance athletes use, I heard to really get as big as possible stack. You can't find it? you got to. Come on. It's not that hard to find. Well, I, 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 I don't know how to work off the internet, but I was reading on Dr. Tony's site. He's talked to an expert trainer saying, if you want to get as big as possible, this is what you take. And EPO, being that it gives you another pint of more blood, 
going through your body. It's a nutrient-rich blood that's feeding the muscles after they're torn down that causes that massive increase in size. Simple vitamin, tear down the muscle with the weight, use all the anabolic agents to increase protein synthesis. Then you open up the floodgates with the EPO and the Cialis, get that massive amount of blood. Feeding your muscles nonstop, that's why you have to eat a certain way every three hours. And add that casein protein from my sponsor, which is good to drink before bed. How are you liking that stuff? I think it's product, great. Product is I good. get no bloating. It doesn't have that over sugary. I like casein. None of the overly sugary, well, New World Nutrition. Give you gas? Your stuff is great. None. Gas. None. That's just surprisingly. Wow. None. Huh. You don't get that blood. If it were actually, you can put in 100 grams of protein and not having it bother me. What kind of casein is it? It's uh, micellar casein. It's a pure formula from New World Nutrition. Hmm. Not overly sugary. If you're sick of those overpoweringly sweet proteins, which kill your appetites. You have to see something before bed. You know, yeah, casein is perfect for three that. Three kinds. Why? Casein is more of a long-acting um, protein. Like, the breakdown of the protein for casein protein is, like, longer-acting. Because you're not feeding yourself when you're sleeping. Yeah. You get a slow trickle of the protein breaking down in amino acids going to your muscles. Why are you trying to gain weight? when you have most. Well, I mean, I'd like to gain muscle. I've, but, I mean, I haven't really changed goes much, back to an argument to yeah. talk about. What is the correct way for women to train, in your opinion? I mean, if you the look. Me? People, as a man, yeah, you're I a like to see the curves. I don't like to see the overly muscled, overly rip look, but I do like to see the curves. And obviously, a well-developed ass, hamstrings, and quads looks great on a woman. Yeah, but, I agree. I think that the telltale sign of like steroids with women is their shoulders. Like you can always tell because like no woman has enough testosterone to just build their upper body the like broad, so bulky shoulders, like yeah. that. Yeah, I can you tell. can always tell the look on women. Also, the V taper on a woman when you see a woman from behind and you see the lats. Yeah, yeah but and I then have, you see I have that. Why don't you, why would you want to fuck them from behind? It's like yeah. fucking a dude. Like I, yeah. I don't know. I don't like those lats, muscular The body for several times gets too low. Doesn't yeah, look like I think the tone is all... fine, but when it gets to be muscular, eh, yeah, not for me. But... You're basically with a man. I mean, there's trannies I'm with. They're soft, I know some thick. guys that like that. You know. Yeah. I don't know Probably why, like but, dick, uh, yeah, but I think exactly. women are really way off in their training. Too much time yeah, on I the agree. treadmill. They usually do too much cardio. Not they're... enough protein, just like men. I always just tell people that, like, if they're usually not getting the results they want, they're probably not eating correctly or they're not sleeping enough. That's good advice. Like, be, I mean, you're... it doesn't... You can do whatever you want in the gym, but I think, like, any anybody who works out knows that, like, majority of it is your diet. Like, you can't just eat like shit and then spend an hour on the treadmill and expect it to, like, to me, be like, okay. To you see someone pop open a bag of chips. Like, what the hell is that? Yeah, well, people think yeah, that no if they're nutritional on... nutritional value in that shit at all. A lot of people think that if they go on, like, a restricted calorie diet, then, like, they're going to lose weight. Which, by, like, you know, thermogenics, it, that would be correct. But, like, three years ago, I was the same weight I am now, but it, it wasn't muscle. And I, like, gross. It's fat. Well, to be honest, you know? when you came back recently yeah. and you were out of the gym for a month, as you told me, I thought mm -hmm. you looked great. Well, yeah, I've gained some weight recently, but like it's good weight. But I think that um, when I tell people that I'm training with like how to eat, it matters where you get your calories from, you know, like and different things work for different people. You just have to like experiment with it. And, and everybody's weight, years. people's weight go to different places. Too. Yeah, like that's for the men, unfortunate it goes to our, part. It goes to our midsection. I mean, for women, though, too. For I mean, it depends on women, the woman. It's usually though. like everywhere you guys gain weight: your fucking arms, your hips, yeah. your stomach. Your I gain ass. it in my in my midsection. I don't get from my like waistline down. I don't gain any weight. It's all muscle. I wish it wasn't like that, but it it all depends on your metabolic type. Because depending on your hormones and your metabolic type of your body, you're going to gain fat in different places. You know. I understand you actually accidentally took Anadrol yeah. instead of Anavar. Could you tell us what? No, we know somebody else that did that. Yeah, the same. <laughs> yes, we do. The same un, unmentioned person who uh, provided that escort service. Oh uh, my yes, yes. Uh, yeah, we are. Chalk another that, one up. That fuck, <coughs> the pill, as um, Jay Master called him, the Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> that's what, what he looked like. Which is the one that women should avoid? That'll Anadrol. give him that fucked up voice. Anadrol. That's the is one that. He accidentally gave me, and I'm so happy that I didn't have any side effects. Four from things, it. except I had 14 inch biceps, like, which is kind of like yeah, that's ridiculous so for me. Testosterone, trend, anadrol, dianabol, two androgenic. Now we had a 
Me and Andrew Kalura had a girl we put on Diana Ball, gave her a sex drive through the roof. She actually looked good on it. She's a Dominican lady. Yeah, but what Turned side effects? Yeah. Put her yeah. on Diana Ball. Did she know she was on it? She did, because she's she, dated a bodybuilder in the past. She, oral, liked, oral. she liked to mess around with white guys, too. Yeah, but like the, the sustaining side effects of that on like a woman. Her sex drive was, I mean, literally waking me up to go out and pick up skateboarders. Skateboarders? Do them, what? Run the train on skateboarders. Yeah, literally. Li- I used to skateboard. I used to skateboard little, too. Little middle school and high school. We picked them up in Delray near Federal Highway, but no, she's not sitting. Me. We pull up. She's sitting in the back of the car. Their legs spread. Ew. Who wants to do me? Wow. And I'm like fuck. Me, me. Really? And then yeah, they men were are disgusting. Nuts. Like she I hit swear. one. Was it's like the second bang? one. It's like the bang, bang bros. bros. Yeah, it's yeah. like bang bros. You guys were running the bang. Bros. Then they're asking us to take if we could take her to his house or Andrew's house. They wanted to do her all day and night, and she wanted it too. Ew. Underage. That's fucked Jeez. up. In fact, me and Andrew are double teaming. I'm sure we'll get to that story in the <laughs> podcast. And uh, <laughs> I happened to get soft, and she raked me with her fingernails. She did what with her fingernails? I got a little soft, you know, because it was a long you session. She, she, raked? she raked my chest with her fingernails. Because mm. you got soft. Yeah. Like wow. clawed she went to, she went at you? To kill or me. Like... Yeah, she wanted to kill me. Oh. Just for that. That's but, pretty intense. But Maybe she was riding Kalora. Kalora is banging her for a good hour. <laughs> I love how you of tell course, all he these also fucking secrets. Did somebody right? else? Somebody <laughs> else? There are no secrets. We can't somebody do else shit with this guy who he was a trainer over there was man. actually on the videos. I won't say any names though. Oh, smelly! I won't say any names. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know who. We, we know somebody else that got given Anadrol instead of Anavar by yes, somebody else. And it, what did she say? It turned her like yellow. She was freaking out. <laughs> she called somebody else we know and said this asshole gave me Anadrol yeah. instead of Anavar. Uh-huh. And then we called this asshole and he just fucking laughed. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> so you guys like doing that. You have to be vague on this. They story, know yes. you yeah. give a girl an androgen. Guess what? She's going to be a sexual pervert, just like a man. I was definitely yo. It was. What I, were you I, I identified with the teenage Let me ask you this, Emma. Way. What were you thinking about when you were on that? What feelings did you get, physically and mentally? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Um. Let's hear it. Leonard's nose is starting to twitch. I, I, I don't know. Physically, it, I didn't really. You did know. you get an intense feeling in your? private area my loins your clits, were, your my, clitoris my loins were quivering with your, anticipation 100 percent of the time <laughs> what were you thinking about how were you th- sex thought pre- all the time i, I there totally, you go that's I what totally you're that's get, the answer you're looking for i totally get what it was like to be like a teenage boy like that's wow. what i felt like i had to like restrain myself how long did wow. you take it for um like six weeks i think when before i figured out this is probably not what i should be taking wow <laughs> Who recommended that? The Pillsbury Doughboy. Pillsbury uh, Doughboy, yeah. And they were oral. He told he told me it was Anavar. Yeah. So is it, steroids don't are okay when you're in the program, even though they're like they're not mind or mood altering. I mean that honestly. Bullshit. I mean to me, a hundred percent they are. It's it's different from person to person. Like some people say that yeah, that's like that's like a relapse. But like me personally, uh, from based on my experience, it's not. Um, I don't know. I could never meant when they say you can't touch anything else again the rest of your life. They say, "Oh, you can't have another drink." The That's rest why of your I life. said you, you don't focus. You don't focus on that. That because, like, I Fuck thoroughly that. enjoy my life sober. Like, I don't, I All don't right, think well. about you know. But I don't care if other people are doing it like around me. That's a very me. good point. You're doing what you want to do, whether than following mm, other people. Yeah, I being mean, a cookie cutter. Now, some people won't probably want you to feel good for. I could see that, but no. But like we talked to Nate about it because he was really addicted to meth. But yeah, he could, him do, and he I could have, have a drink bit. now and be fine. I could or smoke weed I, and be fine. I, and I, not, yeah, I could. Not jump I back, mean, not jump right back into doing meth. But the thing is, like, how long can you sustain doing it all the time? You know, like for some people, they like I. I have a girlfriend of mine where she she was a heroin addict that I got clean with. And she just started drinking like here and there, and then she was like a raging alcoholic. Mm. And like, it, it, if you do it every once in a while, for some people, like that's okay. But there are some people who cannot Can't do it. Can't moderate themselves. Period. Right. Yeah. It's that addictive personality. Yeah. Alcohol isn't Nate's drug of choice, so chances are, like, it's not that bad for him. It's all. It's honestly like everyone's sobriety and recovery is like up to them and it's completely dependent upon the individual like what they can deal with and what works for them and like it's not my place to judge anyone you know what they do with their life so 
If that works for him, then kudos. But you have no interest. That's good. Okay. I'm just saying, I, I could never... Once you see, like, once you see how something can, like, completely destroy your life, you don't really have an interest in it right, anymore, you, think it you know? it negatively affects your life, honestly, in any way? No. Uh -huh. The expense of it, even? No. What, drinking? Yeah. No. I mean, it's been done for centuries. Like they say the country was built on alcohol and nicotine back in the 40s and Which 50s. do way more damage than weed. Like, I'm pro-marijuana, like, all the way. Yeah, completely. 100%. I think, if anything, alcohol should be illegal. Marijuana should not be whatsoever. It won't be. Yeah, so. I know. We're getting there. Look at what the We're American motivated. Indians did. They introduced tobacco to the colonists. And look <clears> they, <throat> look how many white Europeans they've killed. People don't say that. They talk about things. It's all about money. That's it, bullshit. It's, as soon as the government can Thanks. make money off of something, like they're going to make it legal. Because yeah, look they at can... all the prescription medication. Yeah, oh, it's fuck? terrible. It's, than... it's terrible. Well, all these kids, a lot of these kids down here went from the oxys straight to heroin because the oxys mm -hmm. are like eighty dollars a fucking pill. It's got ridiculous. Yeah, I know. So like, Fuck it, I'll get a five dollar well, bag of heroin yeah. and get the same effect. Yeah, and they used to make oxycontin that was shooter. like one hundred and twenty milligram oxys. They only make them as thirties anymore now. Yeah, I think but they're still way too expensive. Yeah, but this the thing the is, with that, the, you know, everybody doctor shop down here yeah, for years. I used to do that back home, yeah. you know, and now Florida they're the all linked. Yeah, I know. Now it's a now it's. I had a buddy that would get a hundred a month, difficult. sell them right away, forty bucks each, four grand a month, just yep. like that. <laughs> One transaction. Jesus. Yep. Four G's a month. All you had to do is because he had severe back pain from car accidents, and the doctor Jeez. prescribed him. Got a hundred a month. Doesn't last, that does it? No. Well, Fuck no. Did it for a couple of years, but hey. He got a hundred a month. You yeah. said those would be gone. Like, see if that was me. Those would be gone in like less than a week. Well, he could run the same day. Yeah. Yeah, Go no, I'm saying if I had yeah. them and I was doing them, oh, yeah. they'd be gone in a few yeah. days. Like, I like, threw it. It's crazy. So is anyone asking any questions? There's a I lot. I figured they could more of silence for why'd you, why, someone? Why'd you get arrested? Why did I get arrested? More that's of a silence good, for who? Okay. That's a good... I just want to take time out to recognize the death of Charles Manson. Oh, oh yeah, right? <laughs> Denied parole 12 times since to nine Never licenses. Never actually killed anybody. No, he had yeah. everybody do it for him. The government was afraid of him. And there's no proof of that. It's all hearsay. Mastermind. He just had crazy um, Master manipulator. LSD orgies and shit. Yeah. <laughs> and bra and brainwashed all those fucking force people. force anybody to do anything. He never oh, done I know, man. Exactly. So just, he just found a bunch of weak-minded fucks. Yeah. Just Cookie cutters. Around. And he did talk about, like, I can credit for Helter Skelter, which means... Race for. Yes. And that's going to happen. Whether we want it to or not, it's going to happen with the brainwashing going on. Well, they, those murders, he wanted that people to think that the Black Panthers did it, right? Isn't that why they wrote, they write, like, pig on the wall and, and blood and shit? And I don't know. There's a lot to that. Yeah, show. there's a lot of controversy around that. So someone wants to know why I got arrested. Yes. Right? Um, so when I, the last time when I was using in 2012, well, this is the most recent arrest that I'll talk about. Because I've been arrested a shitload of times, but this is the... What? This is... I know, right? Big surprise. <laughs> shit. Her and me, right. like every, every week we got a fucking criminal in here now. Right? I know, Richard, yeah. Richard with his drug use and past, <laughs> and Nate, now you. Let's we got go. Mark, who's basically up for sainthood. Mm -hmm. We're all misfits. <laughs> He's so, like the Virgin Mary, the Virgin Mark. <laughs> Grab him on, it'll be a change of pace. Yeah, right? <laughs> I was um, I was with my fiance at the time, and we were living in an apartment. And um, where we were, this is back in Michigan, in Detroit, and we were arguing about something. And at at this point, I was doing the Ritalin and heroin like at the same time, so completely fucked out of my mind, right? And we're arguing about something, and I always used to carry like a knife on me because of where I because of where I no because of where I fucking lived. Uh -huh. All right. It was dangerous, and I was like, he started like running from me or something, or trying to walk away from me, and like I started running after him outside in the snow, and I noticed that like cops were already there because someone had died, and they thought I was like chasing after him, so they told me to stop, and as I like as I like kneeled down because they were drawing their guns, they they thought I was holding something chasing him they drew their guns and as i um like got onto my knees the knife from my belt like because it was hooked on my belt came off and so they thought i was holding a knife like chasing him so they arrested me for attempted felonious assault with a knife which the charges were later dropped because he didn't press charges but my felony was for when they arrested me and put me in the back of the cop car i kicked out the back window um, because I just didn't really want to be in that cop car, I guess. Which I didn't know at the time was a felony. 
So if you didn't kick out that window, I'd be scot free. I would have no felony on my record. Yeah. So I have malicious destruction of a police vehicle on my record, which sounds like way more badass than it actually was. But it was not. It was not cool, and I didn't hear for that. Temper. You should have gotten your money's worth and set the damn thing on fire. I know, right? Fuck it, right? With them, with them in it. Yeah. With them in it. Stolen it, driven it around. I got out of the car. I'm I'm lucky I didn't get arrest like another charge for eluding and fleeing. You were handcuffed know. in the back when yeah. you picked it up. That's bad. Yeah. Nice. A yeah. barefoot and Too everything. Too bad there's no like, dash Barefoot? Cam. Yeah. They, their windows in the back Barefoot are in nine. the snow? Yeah, absolutely. You, you know, it. like I said, oh, you're right. on drugs. You don't really give a shit could what's going on. Could have in your foot. Wow. I, yeah, absolutely. Good thing we didn't know you were lifting at the time. That's good leg no, press, man. No, I was like 85 pounds. Like, that was disgusting. Oh, that was the mug shot with you all busted, right? Yeah, yeah. No, wait, no, that one's from, like, 2007, I think. Isn't it amazing? See, don't you regret when you first got involved with this shit? You gave your first and last name right <laughs> yeah, away. Yeah, I mean, like, like people... I was like, what the fuck, man? Follow yeah, me on like, Instagram, yeah, Emma Guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, but the first thing they do, man, is I know, dig up I get everything. that. Yeah. But people think that, like, it embarrasses me, and, like, it doesn't. Like, I don't... They're really reaching. Like, they're the ones doing the work, like, reaching into my past. So it seems kind of desperate. Oh, yeah. Well, they you have know? nothing else yeah, to fucking exactly. do. Yeah, exactly. And that reminds me... I want to talk about this like swastika um, picture that, that was out with me. Seen it. Posing. Yeah, of course. Of course. Everyone's Has seen that it. cost you an uh, employment opportunity? It did. It cost. <laughs> <laughs> And it was it was much farther. It was much before like I um, did any filming with you guys. An employer found it when I was going to be an administrative assistant. But that picture, Jeez. yeah, I know that picture. Uh, my friend Kat was having a Halloween party. Like I feel like it was like ten years ago, maybe not that long ago. And her dad collected World War II flags, you know, and had them up around the house. And I was drinking and we were all having a good time. And she snapped a picture of me in front of that. And like, that was it. That that was the story behind that picture. And people think I'm like a Nazi yeah, because of it. But I get that. But I'm, I'm definitely not. That's a artifact from that war. It's a yeah. historical. I could see how someone would think that's kind of like, you know. I mean, there's a big swastika hanging out behind me, behind my face, you know. Nowadays, if people knew the story, then, well, of course. you know. Yeah, exactly. Everything's always taken out of context. Yeah, of course. Do you like black men? No. No. Why? Never been with, never, no never. interest. I can find them attractive. I just, like, don't really want to have sex with them. She doesn't want to get damaged. That's not, that's not <laughs> Tainted. <laughs> Tore up from the floor. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to your uh, hacked Snapchat? Oh, yeah. I don't know who did that, but... Um, that's pretty fucking nuts that they're able to do that's that, That's huh? pretty... I, I just find that kind of weird that people are that interested in, like, what pictures I might have saved. Like, what there did was, they do? They got in... They found your password? I don't know, because shit? I deleted Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook from my phone for a month, because I just felt like taking a break from all of it. And I guess while that happened, like, a few people that I'm close friends with sent me a message, and they were like, yo, someone is, like, on your Snapchat sending out shit. But, like, it, the pictures weren't, like, I don't have any naked pictures saved of me anywhere, you know? They were just pictures of me in, like, my bra, which I don't give a shit about. Like, cool. That's, like, the best thing that they found, which was, like, nothing. Are your tits fake? No, they are real, 100%. I get asked that a lot, too. I guess it makes sense. They want to know where you got your Cialis from. What website? You don't go on websites, right? I told a guy that, that you don't get shit on websites. You don't have to reveal your source if it's not a website. We're having issues at this time. Okay. Lenny, mm -hmm. you, what are your thoughts on Brad Castleberry? Never yeah. heard of her. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> He's a fucking douchebag that looks He looks douchey, weights. yeah. Oof, what a fucking clown. Did you see that video where he put the weight on the scale, though? I don't watch this yeah. shit. There was a yeah, football player in the scale. Like turn, uh, mm. Ted Hendricks from the Oakland Raiders used to have fake weights. Never lifted a weight in his life, but he had I don't know when the pictures of the me to take pictures of him doing it back in the 70s. So he's the first one to do that, as far as I know. Ted Hendricks. They called him the Mad Stork. The Mad Stork. Good Stoke. linebacker. Oakland Raider. How do you plan on lowering your blood pressure? Going off, decreasing the amounts of gear. Good. Eating garlic cloves. But if it's going to be high temporarily for to get results, you got to go through with it. This sport isn't uh, like badminton, like right 
I really don't know. I really don't care. I usually think of those values. One eighty over hundred for no, oh normal God. cookie cutters. But, That's awful. You know what? What you don't know what doesn't hurt you. That helps a lot of cases. In I don't life. know about that. Like I don't think that. What do you? What know? you don't know don't hurt. There's people living with tumors that don't even know about it. Yeah, but eventually that might kill them. Like that will. Yeah, kill you, know, you know that's fucked up. You say like my brother is a stubborn asshole. He he hasn't been to the doctor in fifteen fucking years. He's his smart. gut his gut looks like yours. He's, He's smart. not in shape. He's smart. He might shit once a week. He's got oh, fucking terrible. problems. Shit but he doesn't give a shit. He doesn't care. He, I mean, he doesn't give a fuck if he end dies end tomorrow. You know, that'll yeah, be the end of shit. people. It's well, sad. Is if we die tomorrow or, or 50 years? He's fucking stubborn. If we yeah. die tomorrow or 50 years from now, the scope of eternity, they're both the same. Okay. Andrew, when is the maddest you've ever been at Jason? Is there a particular <laughs> inst- yes. incident that sticks out? I remember this. Brad was there. This was maybe, what, three years ago? I thought you were going to knock him out. I was ready to catch him. We were, we were at the old world gym, and I got a text message. It was this long, rambling text message. And Jason and I have a rule. Don't give out my phone number to anybody unless you have my consent first. Really <laughs> easy rule to follow. So I get this long, rambling text message. Hey, you don't know me, but Jason gave me your number. Uh. And um, we want to make t-shirts together. It's going to be great. We have all these ideas. This was just before t-shirt gate. Remember that stupid shit? Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, anyway, give me a call or shoot me a text and, and we'll discuss options for t-shirts. So we, we all, me, Brad, and Jason left the old world gym together. I go, Jason, let me show you this text message I just got. Who the fuck is this and why is he texting me? Oh, listen, bro. <laughs> We're going to make money, man. I gave him your number. He, you do a good, you do a I, good I gave, Jason. I gave him your number. <laughs> We're, We're going to make a lot of money with this guy, bro. Listen, it's, it's legit. It's legit. We're, the t-shirt thing. And I just fucking saw red. <laughs> Just everything turned red. The more he rambled on about it, and I almost choked him. I, I came real close to grabbing. Yeah. Yes. But Brad, like, I, I almost put grabbed him by the throat and just picked him up and put him up against the wall and, and choke slammed him. And I stopped myself and I, I walked away and I drove home. And Brad was there. He saw the whole thing. <laughs> he said, "If you ever give my number to anybody again, I'm going I, I to." I said, "If you kill ever you. give my phone number out again like that without my consent." I, they will find you somewhere. <laughs> so, and you know what? To his defense, he never gave it out again. He always asks me now. So, yeah. Somebody will swindle him into getting all. The <laughs> I know. I'm surprised I have. I'm going to start getting a whole bunch of out. calls from you know. Frit- he doesn't have Cambodia, number, so that's good. What age did you start using PEDs? I did a cycle of Anadrol when I was 19, back in Pittsburgh, and I actually threw the bottle out at the railroad tracks on Allegheny River Boulevard, half a bottle, and it was the old Syntex glass bottle with the red label. What happened was you get those pumps in your lower back that a lot of guys get from D-ball, Anadrol, and Test, whatever, and I thought it was my, I don't know what, but they were so intense that I couldn't, couldn't finish the bottle, and I was only taking two a day. I mean, I, mean, I did gain a lot of strength really quick, but the funny thing is when I went off, I actually, because I was still 19, it seemed like a bump body kicked in. I made my best gains after going off that. And that's what started the size. That's when I really started getting big was after that. But honest to God, I could not take the pump. I hope my lower back was hurting so bad. I thought there was something wrong with my kidneys. Mm. And at the time, they were saying how bad it was and being somewhat of a cookie cutter at that age. I actually threw, yeah, half a bottle. When did your stomach start getting... Well, actually, it was funny. Mike Terrazano came and saw me. He was like, you know, Lenny, your stomach was bigger. I said, you're right. No fucking way. It was bigger. Watch the video of him in Kalora. I mean, my pants Benching. size are way down. My belts, I had yeah. belts what's in your, there. What's your waist? I don't know now, but it was much, much bigger. You he don't says, know. You don't buy And he was saying pants. to me, the only thing is, is your, so we agreed. The your fuck stomach, don't you know your waist Your stomach size? is yeah. harder now. That's when the muscles protrude. You just wear everything that's elastic. That's it looks like. Elastic. It, but, but I had more that's fat around me. I wear everything what elastic. What happened was, that's why I say it's overdeveloped muscle, because... Once I got rid of the fat, would you agree it to looked, go? It would, looks repulsive would because you, it's so you, massive. Would you agree to go get it checked out on camera? I'll film. Yes, it. I'll go with you. Well, people don't. Please look, make an appointment. I don't know if anyone who's never met Lenny. It, if you touch, it's rock hard. Correct. It is rock hard. Lenny's stomach is like a brick wall. If you punch that, it's not budget. I, I punched, honest to God, every part of my body is rock hard right now, except. My genitals. <laughs> Honest Fair to God, enough. every single Fair part enough. is rock hard except my genitals. Go figure. Mm. Well, what would you take to get to reverse that? Well, I, what I think it is is being over three hundred pounds. All the blood is in my muscle. Yeah, and that's where sometimes it could hamper your intelligence because you may not be getting enough blood to your brain. I, well, although, oxygen. Yes, although lifting and the diet is the best thing for your brain intelligence. When you take it to a point of extreme, believe me, there's not much. 
you're not functioning mentally. What's, what's your typical day of eating while bulking? Simple. <laughs> Start off with 100 grams of protein, either from steak or eggs. I have a half a box of cereal, usually Cheerios, shredded wheat, raisin bran, but a half a gallon of lactose-free milk. Then I'll have some type of fruit with it, either bananas, strawberries, or raisins and the vitamins. Then uh, it's a pre-workout drink and it's a post-workout drink. I've went into detail on the post-workout drinks. Then when I go to work, I have four turkey sandwiches I have in my pockets when I'm walking on the floors. I'll cut, you know, sl slip in my mouth. What's on, what's on the what's on the slip in my mouth? Nothing. It's just just turkey. It's and just bread. yeah. They have packets where they're managed on use it. Just turkey, whole wheat bread. No, then no lettuce, tomato, yeah. nothing. Then I have a huge shake. No, I don't have time. It's in a little pack. I keep my keep them in my pockets, and I can actually eat without people watching me. I can chew without people noticing either, which is hard to do. But <laughs> also, then I have a big that. shake during the tray assembly line. It's got 100 grams of protein, which I can't wait to. I use a new world order. I can use 100 grams again because it's so easily to digest and it doesn't bloat you up. It's a fantastic clean protein. I use their egg protein at that point. I'll use the isolate now, 100 grams after the workout. Then that shake I drink at work has the egg protein and I'll mix that with two cups of oatmeal. Then after that, I have a meal at work, usually a pound of either chicken, turkey, or beef. And usually I'll have some potatoes or rice. And have some more fruit and i'll actually have especially when i'm doing insulin bulky i might have a piece of cake or some cookies for the sugar and the calories plus more we have lactose free milk there Jesus. then at night i'll usually stay at work and have basically another meal like that minus the cookies or the cake and a little less on the carbs how many grams of protein i try to take in 600 grams minimum that's so way too your much body, that's, your body that's weight. Too two much grams of protein per weight. pound of body when you're trying to gain i thought these would just uh. drink or take your body weight in, in grams it, of protein. It's, it's okay. usually like, I think, well, I know like for... If you weigh 200 in, pounds, 200 grams of protein. For endurance you athletes, you gotta, it's 0.8 it to 1.2 grams. But Some people talk about lean body be, weight. It shouldn't be more than like 1.5 grams of protein per I'm actually going to take it up weight. to 1,000 grams. I've done That's that before. That's so bad for your kidneys, though. Well, I mean, drinking five gallons of water a day. Yeah, but still, because they, I mean, that filters out the protein. Uh, just be How careful. How taking fun of it? I've been taking it about off and on about, I would say almost seven years, but Jesus. 2010 and 2011, when I first started using it, pre workout, I was taking a scoop with every meal, a teaspoon. And then I was literally wa like, and what's the recommended dosage for that shit? There was little scoops in there. My theory on my thing I found about it is this. You use a small scooper in there, it'll make you sleep good. Is that like a... It's a nootropic. It's, it's, you, you can get it like at the it store? Does both, yeah. It's They're okay. trying to ban not it, but for, not for much developed water, by the Russian cosmonauts to relieve, reduce and relieve anxiety when you're in space for three and to, so people can get along with your coworkers. Did you say cosmonauts? Russian <laughs> cosmonauts, yes. But my protocol now but is to a do a teaspoon. No, it's just a... Uh, I'll tell you what it does. I When I wake up, I take a... Like, see, I wake up three times to pee, like clockwork. Yeah. First time I wake up, I'll throw, some, so you, I'll throw GABA. Even, I'll you, take GABA, G-A-B-A. Do, do, do you even get out of bed or you just piss on the floor? <laughs> no, i got to get out of bed, unfortunately. Okay. So I might as well just get up. What is the, should, we should have a jug next year, Ben. What is the intended effect of Phenobut? Phenobut has many effects. It does. It makes you turned on, horny makes you more social is it supposed to be like a, a fat burner like a, a no, what? no not okay, at all it's, it causes the release of dopamine and serotonin okay but in a steady way it also releases growth hormone it used for anxiety i mean you can go into a situation no not so can you can you take it at night you can but to me if you take too much will it keep you, you get too much dopamine you know, yeah keep you awake. if you take a small amount or like me when i'm weaning off when it's weaning out of my system you can literally sleep all day well because an excess of dopamine in the brain is like like when a person is schizophrenic that's an excess of dopamine and yeah you know, you're just but you got to take two days off a week minimum it doesn't work i'll have to look into that because that sounds interesting it's just very good for sports performance i mean i, I don't know about because i don't drive a car but you know you got to play around with the dosage but to me it's some days it's just golden everything everything works you have perfect days. Your agility your coordination it's like literally you can move and your body's just so in tune with everything else but when the day's off when i'm at work on the weekends i'm miserable i'm like stumbling over shit dropping shit mm. you just don't have it and with that well because if you're if your dopamine is lowered that's um they're gonna throw off your coordination because people with parkinson's yes. don't have enough yes dopamine, exactly so. that's exactly what happens it's hard to train on i like to train on when i'm not on it either but I prefer, really prefer the train, but then again, the negatives are reduces your perception of time. You become mm -hmm. late, screws off your, you know, you don't, you don't care, you know, uh, it can be bad. 
in that regard. What you got there, Brad? Ask Emma, would she fuck Jason, Lenny, or Big Richard? Gun to your head. Gun to my head? I know who she's picking. <laughs> Not Jason. <laughs> I think that's like a Why, given. He's a virgin. He's kind of, he I don't know. Richard kind of sounds like a ladies' man a little bit. Ah, I don't know. Say it, Emma. I, I'm not. I'm not making any decisions, but I feel like Lenny is more of like a a, a brotherly sort of figure to me, and I don't really know Richard. Yes. Big so. Richard for the win. Yeah, <laughs> big boy, dick. Big Richard. Yeah, they, they want to know between Isabel, Isabella Cornelius' wife, and Carla Dun- Dunlap, which one would you fuck? Uh, again, I'm not into fucking. Oh my god! If, if I, someone, if you had to, though, fucking is for, I say for my wife, my kid. There's so many other things you can do. You know, I don't. I just, I just don't like the idea of, you know, fucking unless I, someone is married to. Living with Mary too. I, I, I just don't like that. What? I don't. No, you know, you get pictures. I, I, like I that. can't I get it up. That is. Look at the ceiling. Look at the floor. Look at the countertop. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice. Although Carla Dunlap, I would like her to uh, torture me. That's, I, so Carla Dunlap is your choice. I used to, I used to masturbate to Carla Dunlap there in Flex go. Magazine. There you go. There's your answer, guys. And muscle fitness when I was a teenager, quite a bit. Dropped many a load. Oh. Although Cornelius's wife, hey, what can I say? Very sexy, very hot. You know, same same thing goes for her. But fucking is just not what I like preferred. Well, your your preferred active. Sexual, it's not. You know, right? Unless you I unless I was married be, to her, you and being I wanted to have it. Honestly, I I just can't. I never could do it. And even girls would tell me, "How come you don't fuck me?" Boring. Oh my god, man! But masturbate. You'd rather masturbate than fuck. I can't really masturbate on trend. No, but you said you masturbate to Carla Dunlap, but you want to fuck her. When you're on Fennabud, you can't come, so it's like you'll do it, and then it's like you're either going to die, you feel like I'm going to have a fucking heart attack. So you can't come anyway. That's awful, It's man. very, extremely difficult. You got to get off the, You got to get off that shit. Yeah. I mean, I'm back to having wet dreams. That's pretty bad. Mm. And when I look at porn at work, which I admit I do, because I have full access, one of the only places it does, I'm not masturbating to it. So what's the point of looking at it? I'm trying to get turned on. And when I'm on Fennabut, I look at it. You try to get turned on at work? Last night, I watched, what, I watched a football game. Have you ever jerked off at work? Yeah, in front of a couple girls <laughs> years ago. <laughs> you know, the years ago. I found some Haitians and stuff. Some I've Haitians. done that in high school. I remember dying, I told you that story. A dying old woman. <laughs> girls used to we go behind the stairs at, at high school. Like Kill Bill. Remember Kill Bill? <laughs> yeah. That was sick, man. Yeah. <laughs> but I look at, uh, you know, enhanced... Muscle, I like that site to look at. It's very educational. Educational. I, I look at myself as a scientist now when I go to the gym with the protocol. When I was younger, I like going there, going crazy, but it's not. It's science, and I keep all the data in my head. You know, I use my limited range of measures on certain things, do the best that I can, but I just make sure I have a tent, a crushed muscle. It's, I can feel the tension on it and it's full of blood. And to tell you the truth, I'm glad Andrew has that Cialis line because when I add that to the mix, <laughs> I think that would have put me over. I mean, I, I honestly got like Emma said, when I come like in, like I come into work right from the gym, right from my bike. And every time I walk down the hall, nurses are, you can hear me breathing. Are you all right? Are you all, I get to explain Leonard, you every gotta, you single gotta, day. You got to try the douche flute, Leonard. What's a douche flute? He's going to die. Uh-huh. He's going to die coughing. Is there anything good in that? Look at that. Absolutely. It's cookie thing. butter. And it says douche on it. <laughs> it's emblazoned on it. Here, you want to try? Uh, I better not try it right now. You might like it. But yeah. What if I was on Fanabut? No, there's, it's just plain fucking oil. It, it, it's, it's not even like anything. It's like flavored oil. It tastes like cookie butter. I'll pass. Mm-hmm. You're no fun. <laughs> Why don't you blow some of that smoke in your ass? <laughs> Again, hey, you want to smell t- it? T- no tell, fan of butt. Tell him it's anabolic. I'll try you know what, Emma? I can't. Exactly. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> that smells yeah, like yeah. cookies. It's cookie butter. But That's a flavor. I can't turn because I accident. I can't turn my head. I notice that <laughs> to the left or the right to look at somebody. I can't do it. That's well, a fact. Traps are in the way. That too. But he got fucked up from that accident. Uh-oh. Yeah, I noticed after that. Yeah. So what are your goals now? I don't know. Pretty much just make my butt bigger. That's about it. How are you going to do that? Any advice, Lenny? I don't know. You know, I don't, I probably don't eat enough to do that because like, I don't know. It's gotten two inches bigger of the last year though. So measure it. Yeah. That's the only, cause that's the only way you can tell progress is if like by measurements, you can't really go by the scale, you know, like picture. Yeah. But like, I don't know. I've seen a lot of guys at Planet Fitness looking at you last week. I don't notice that at all. I do. 
Yeah, people tell me that that like they notice it, but I don't. Maybe I'm not paying attention. I don't. You don't, know. Ca- you don't catch them looking. I think the thing is, is that like because no one ever approaches me, I just think that like no. You're one's, kidding. No, no one. If I see a girl that if I see a girl me. turns me on sexually in the gym, I approach her. These are yeah, these dudes are a bunch of pussies, <laughs> you know. though. They don't like. I don't. Absolutely. I'm not gonna go up and approach anyone. Like yeah. that's just how it is. Do you want to be approached in the gym, or are you just yeah, there to why work not? out? You don't mind? Unbelievable. No, but the only people that. The ball to do it. The people that approach me are always creeps. It's like the one dude that follows me around from like whatever area I'm in and he's you know, doesn't what's, know what the fuck he's doing. What's the worst pickup line <sighs> that you've gotten? Oh my gosh. I'm trying to think. <laughs> the worst and the best. I don't, I, I don't, I'm, I'm trying to think. I haven't had too many pickup lines really used on me. Oh, um, someone said that this is the best one. Someone um, walked up to me and said, did you just fart? <laughs> and I said, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I said, no, why? And he goes, because you blew me away. Oh, I thought that was, that was, that's a good one. That, I'd never heard that one before. That's, kind of funny, though. that's a good one, right? The I worst think, one. It's pretty ballsy. <laughs> did you the fart? Worst, yeah. yeah. Girls fucking slap them. <laughs> no, I, no, it doesn't bother me. I, I don't know the worst one I've heard. I don't know. They're all pretty bad. Like, if you have to use a pickup line, like, that's that's pretty it's pretty bad and i've been on tinder and all kinds of shit and like the the things people come up with to say like all you have to say is like hey or like hi like be normal don't don't try and be like witty and all this other shit because it never works out right i use my classic and i've used on many girls i'll come up and say my god you're the hottest woman i've ever seen ever come in this gym probably ever in any gym i've ever been in i've been around i've been but been and to every gym and so every time i when I look at you, I get this feeling I never had before. Like I get hit by <laughs> yeah. a bolt of lightning. That would never work on me. I mean, please out go comes fuck the yourself. Rape whistle. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, your eyes are fucking burning. <laughs> I can't remember a time a girl ever. You ever been maced? Me for that. Pardon me? You ever been maced? I've been yeah. maced. That shit sucks. Yeah. Why? For both of you. And my mother's because her came home from work is when she, she was living on Sun Valley out there in Boynton, and I came out of the car at the time and. My mother had a boyfriend. She was going to some St. Parents Without Partners meeting, and he's, she had a whole dinner laid out for him and stuff. Like, almost all the food was gone. I says, where's my food? And her boyfriend <laughs> sent me <laughs> sent the end of the table. It's like a white-collar type guy, kind of chubby, middle-aged. This is early 90s. He says, why don't you get your own, big boy? Uh, I said, what'd you say to me? <laughs> he says, you heard what I said. <laughs> Sitting in the chair, went right up. Boom, busted him right out of the chair. He goes flying back. Call the cops. Runs out of the house. I'm chasing his cars parked. I'm chasing him down the street. You know, there's families. That's a you know neighborhood where everybody's out. Kids yeah, screaming and chase. I'm gonna kill you, fuck. <laughs> so my mom called the sheriff's department. He's at the end of the street. I was like, fuck him. I walked back and went in my room. And I figured they're gonna come in, so I put all the dresser in front of the door in my room. <laughs> Two of them and they're banging open the door. She goes, well, we want to talk to you. This is the sheriff's department. I says, no, I'm not opening nothing. Like, trying to push it. I said, you ain't going to get in here. She said, like, open the door. You want to work this? I said, I figure, okay. So I came out. And they go, let's go outside. So I walked outside with them. And they're standing out front. And he's like, put your hands behind your back. I said, no. I said, for what? <laughs> and he said, for physically assaulting. And he didn't even stand there with the cops. I got, like, pussy. His blood coming back of his head because his head hit the, hit the wall. <laughs> you know, it's like he's man, man, it's, you know, real tough. I'm looking at this guy the whole time. I even look at the cops. And they're like, and then pretty soon there's two more cars come up and there's like 15 cops and I'm going to encircle me right in the front yard. And they're like, oh, put your hands behind your back, get on the ground. I said, make me. I said, you better get <laughs> some more than that. So then this one clown, dorky cop with glasses, I remember he's had one of those billy clubs. They all had their clubs out. And he looks at me, he's like laughing because he knew. And I actually thought at the time I was so stupid that I was going to beat them all up or whatever. <laughs> and uh, they came towards me. And I'm, I'm going back, but then I started running towards them, and they're like, getting back like that with the clubs. I mean, 20 of them. Then you have sergeants and stuff, everybody's watching, neighbors. I remember people with their hands crossed looking at me. So when they got close, they're spraying me with all, at all angles, and I was just so pissed. Then they hit me with the clubs. I got one to the left, one to the right of my shin. As hard as you can, smash me right on the shin with, mm. with yeah, a club. Yeah, that'll get you down. Put me down, and they all jumped on top of me. I'm punching them, trying to gouge the eyes, eyes out, whatever. You know, I was, and I, I can still see it at the time. I mean, my eyes were burning like crazy. 
they put me behind my back and hog tied me and I tied up my legs behind my back. I was about 300 at the time, natural. How many did it take to pick you up? <laughs> like six. <laughs> then they finally said that, I'm going to say, put me in the back of the car. And I remember that guy still looking at me. His name's Gary Greenberg. <laughs> like a high school bully. <laughs> no, he was like the middle-aged businessman type. He should tell the morgue story. Oh, uh, yeah. So anyways, they take me to... Mm -hmm. I'm kicking the cop car window. Well, I'm hogtied. The sergeant, older guy, comes up. He goes, we're not afraid of you. He goes, what makes you think that we'd be afraid of you? And I'm like sitting there. I didn't say, oh, I was so fucking pissed. So they took me to South County, gave me a shot, and then untied me and stuff you could tell the what do you mean gave you a shot the thor probably yeah. thorazine uh, yeah, that's what was horrible feel i could thorazine two or three times in my life i tell you what <laughs> you feel like you want to die i don't know what it has a different effect on everyone my usually don't you feel usually. like horrible like you you want to die i don't know it'll like incapacitate you sometimes. yeah it it'll takes like, a fight like out sometimes you. sometimes it'll dope you up I sometimes can't describe it just it. you out it made me feel horrible but uh that was the end of that. And I ended up breaking out of South County. I kicked the door breaking down. Breaking out. Came back home. <laughs> Sheriff's waiting for me again. I had a guy from working South County out of, across from the uh, hospital. Said fuck this and kicked, I just out kicked the door. down the door. Oh, the the mental hospital. Yeah. Oh, can, you imagine, can you yeah, imagine Lenny just they like did it again the door and running out of South County? They, so they didn't take you to jail. They took you to the mental. Yeah, and then they took me to end of you know, the Fair Oaks, which is a more higher Fair class. Oaks, yeah, yeah. And Baker actually, acted. you know, enjoyed myself there. So. You enjoyed yourself. And I thought to myself, what a bunch of BS. So he never pressed things. charges on you? Nothing he could do. That's like a bitch move if he did, you know? Yeah. Yeah, he was an idiot. So why did you Coward. get maced? By the cops. Huh? I don't remember the exact scenario. I mean, probably the same way I got tased. I was Pussies. running away from him. 85-pound 80, girl had to get maced. Yeah, I know. Like, they hogtied me? me, too. They, they handcuffed my hands and then my ankles and then behind my back my hands to my ankles Word well you know you, you did kick out a window yeah Once. this was a this was a separate time <laughs> no, before that you kick out the window Word of advice maniacs steer clear of law enforcement don't, <laughs> yeah, don't no get involved shit. in any way <laughs> no don't shit. give them lip don't give them more than they need to hear yes sir, don't no joke sir. around with them get, get away yeah. from like, them like you're talking to a judge they'll do nothing yes. but That's the right. minute you, find something yeah. the minute you disrespect you. them or show any kind of you're fucked and their egos are for the most part this yeah. is for the most part now very weak I mean there's some great cops out there I tell you what that bent over backwards for me oh yeah but the uh, <laughs> majority of them I mean, me getting pulled over and hearing this the garbage that comes out of their mouth even for not having a light on my bike yeah is yeah. beyond me it's a it's a um what is it they call it a power power trip uh, yeah, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of those guys i don't know about a lot but there's quite a few i'm sure that were you know picked on when they were younger that's thing for like correctional officers yeah. the way they treat inmates it's terrible i think anyone who becomes a corrections officer has to have a fucking screw loose yeah who the hell would want my buddy you know my buddy joe's yeah. a corrections oh, yeah. officer <laughs> I mean, a friend of mine is a, used to be a corrections officer and now he's a chef actually chef brian you guys who are watching or listening to no, this people are ask, asking well, about that yeah she that's chef, the ohio state fan that's son and no chef, chef brian did a few workout videos with me and jason years ago and before he became a chef he was a co in um arizona and he's had shit thrown at him he's got some of yeah. those horrible stories from when he was a co just really awful stuff and things he's done to prisoners and things that They're have been terrible. done to him. oh yeah my buddy, my buddy anyone would want to do that man people. Yeah. Yeah, my oh, buddy's okay. there. He said in jail eight hours a fucking day, and he's like in jail too. Yeah, exactly. He's like, look at I, the videos. Like, when I tell you they're animals, right. they're yeah. fucking animals. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, but I mean, I hate to sound liberal here, but you get locked up like that, you're gonna get pissed off. Yeah, you go crazy. I know crazy. I will be. Yeah, you go crazy. Yeah, I spend it for for. If you're not crazy, window, you will be crazy. If somebody acts cocky or whatever, just like in the gym. You see these jungle bunny trainers they used to have <laughs> acting cocky at a gym while I'm training. I'm going to rip their heads off. Talking to the white girl, feeling her up under, the, under yeah. the guise of personal training. I've seen it so many times. Yeah, I won't mention any names, but I, <laughs> Brad and I have seen it too. Brad knows who I'm talking. About. Oh yeah, Lenny's favorite person. Yeah, yeah. I'm giving. Oh, Lenny. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. DC. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Just stands there on his fucking phone. Not even to, to think that some of these personal trainers get upwards of seventy-five or eighty dollars. He gets an more hour. than that. To yeah. literally stand there and count reps while they look at their cell phone. Okay, let's move to the next one, yeah. two, three. Oh, good. Job, good. Yeah. While they're standing there, you know, probably taking selfies or whatever on their phones. 
there, there's no passion or heart so in doing what they do. They're just making money. Off if you idiots. Can, if you can read, you can be your own fucking personal trainer. Yeah. Although getting my certification, like I did learn a shitload more than like I already. Oh, so you're gonna be a personal? No, trainer. I mean I'm already certified. <laughs> there's just like no money in it down here unless no, you're like big time. You know? It used to be. How did yeah. you become certified online, or did you actually take a class? Well, in college, I studied. Well, I studied two things. I minored in exercise science, and then I majored in criminology. And then, <laughs> uh, yeah, go figure, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, and then I did the NASA program down here, and it just, um, yeah, I did it online in like nine weeks. Yeah, I was talking to that one trainer that's that competes. He's, you know, LA Fitness. Yo, it's I tough, tried. I tried to. to I tried to work at LA Fitness. They were going to give me eight dollars an yeah. hour to train people. That's LA Fitness will like be gone 150? in five years, just like the rest of the gyms. I think so. No, nah, there'll be a new name, a new thing. You know, Planet Fitness is obviously blowing them away, from what I heard, blowing them out of the woodwork. Yes, I they don't are. No, LA Fitness has facts. better equipment. They do, but they Planet's do, blowing but the away, price. which is sad. You know what happened to the old girl? They'll just bring the down their prices. Yeah, they'll yeah. have no choice. Yeah. It's a good bargaining tool. The best was 10 years ago. We had Golds, which was our old, you know, where the Misfits videos were made. That was, and then we it had Worlds cool, it, yeah. across the street. Yeah. And actually, Andrew Kalora snuck me in there for four months. That's where the first time I met Synthal Mark. We had, I had it made. Everything. Everything over there. Yeah, those gyms were great. Girls. Really were. The old World Gym where we first met in 1998. Yes. To this day, I say that's the best gym I ever trained in. I would agree. Great agree? lighting. Great lighting, yeah. yeah. Which Definitely. is actually now Planet Fitness. It's the exact same gym. Yeah, just yeah, totally, totally, obviously different. Yeah, I used to go to that. So I, ironic. I only went to that one once, but I went to the World Gym out where Busybody is now. That used to be the Jim, Jim, Jim Willard. Yeah. Jim Willard. And then they had a Golds at the end of fucking Palmetto. I, but I'd kill for another World Golds or Powerhouse right in our Busy old gym. Busybody should buy that fucking old I know they gym should. right there. Because they only have three locations. I they know. got one in Palm Beach, two in Boca. They should put... There's you know, little th- shit garage gyms opening up 24 7, like one in Congress. I saw a flyer down the other Congress. But aren't those what, like the industrial, it? like yeah. where the. Yeah. Wait, Congress and what? I, there's, a, there's a flyer. Is it in Boca? Yes, close to Delray. Is it in a. Oh, close to Delray? But it's supposedly, it's really well. Like equipped. a warehouse almost. Yeah. But it's 24 7. They have one like that up on Gateway. You, have, you get a key. Oh. Now see there's hmm. cameras inside and such, but... There's a new oh, one. I know where you're talking about. My friend Russell goes there. He likes it? Yeah, well, it, he said it's like a musclehead gym. They don't have, like, you know, like a bunch of equipment. Well, there's one like that on Gateway called I don't think Bar they Bells give a damn about us ever filming there, but it's still too far for me. Well, it's actually closer than... Yeah, that's the problem with you. Is you, you, you well, like, I got you some close. weights now. I got no excuses. You got to get a new bench, though. That bench is terrible. Brad, when are you going to be my do chess with me on a regular basis? Let me know when you want. We were doing good for a point till. The free weights hurt me. I did, ch- I did chess this morning. Pretty I like to start too. doing incline dumbbell presses where we can hang each other the way. Those are a good move. We'll do that. Yeah, get away from that throwing weight around, Brad. Yeah. Just work the muscle. The strength will come. Well, isolate this. If you want size, it's isolation. Exercise, not compound. What? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Shocking. Who yeah. said that? I have, to go, I have to go light for at least another month. Yeah. But I, from There's last nothing week wrong with week. doing light weight because, I mean, like, it's better You got to use as heavy as you can between a certain amount more. of rep range. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you're going for, you know, endurance, it's like, well, if you're going for hypertrophy, like muscle size, it's like 8 to 12. Right. If you're going Absolutely. for strength, if you're going for strength, it's like 1 four to, to 5. But if yeah, you're doing four, endurance, four go do a Stairmaster or Versa Climber. I don't think weights. If it's for endurance, I think I can think of as high rep squats, high rep power cleans. You know, other than that, go do a versa climber, which is actually better than a stairmaster because you're climbing yeah. with your hands. I heard that's the best thing for endurance, and you're using your legs like a stairmaster. I was telling Android you. that was on the stairmaster the other day. I kicked my ass, man. I can't do I the stairmaster; it gives me like sciatica pain. I say one of the best mm-hmm. things you can do for endurance is swimming. There's no yeah. impact yeah, on your absolutely. joints. Yeah. All your muscles work in unity and harmony. You know, oh, and they never go in a fucking Carla gym Dunlap, swimming pool. Carla though. Dunlap was a synchronized yeah. swimmer. Yeah, those pools. A swim in the ocean. Carla Dunlap was a synchronized swimmer. So, for a black lady to have a swimming background, I be, be, can't wait to talk to her. You should see what she does in the gym now. It's like all stretching. Very Maybe she can put She's something up. Very flexible. Have her stretch up on the table here. Hey, yeah, that's a great idea. I guess. No, it's, it's a glass table. It you can lay underneath it. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's part, you get a nice view. Wow. 
<laughs> He's thinking about it. I'm addicted to tans, Emma. Tans? Like and I think darkies. It's my yeah. first one I got downtown Pittsburgh, and I found magazines at Riverside Park in Oakmont when I was nine years old, all but black. Isn't that funny? There used to be magazines in like the woods and parks. And yes. Stuff. That's weird. <laughs> that's where, well, that's where yeah, kids were I hiding. Yeah, I mean, I know parents that. Parents wouldn't go in the woods, so I wouldn't want to touch that magazine. <laughs> Like, ew. I used to look at my dad's. He used to have a stash of Playboys under the bed. <laughs> I feel like uh, every dad did yeah, that. It's fucking great. Remember the excitement of finding it? That's oh, like, yeah, it was awesome. The feelings you get. You but we'd have to, we always made sure to put it back right the uh, way it was. He puts a hair, like, over the magazine. <laughs> like, I know you went on my magazines. Of course, honest to God, I looked at Carla Dunlap and Flex and did it. Didn't you say you found that picture of her he was Somebody talking about? Somebody found it and, and messaged me. The one with her in the skirt blowing yeah. up? Yeah. yeah. That's a Flex magazine cover. That's iconic. Yeah. Yeah. Too bad we don't have a mint copy. She could autograph it. That'd be great. That would And be. she looks great on it. She's like basically. If naked. anybody can find a copy, send it to Andrew, yeah. please. <laughs> Print it out of work. Uh, she would probably f- lose her mind if we had that. From what I, I read recently on her, she said that nothing that gives her more satisfaction than peop- guys coming up and saying, I had pictures of you on my wall. You're my sex symbol. And it turns out that was me. I'm one of them. She said that. Nothing makes her happier so i love gg allen fought, man, definitely not a cookie cutter <laughs> i i G. don't know if i, I don't know if i would before. i don't know if i would go to one of his shows but yeah i definitely like G. G. Allen. Now. yeah i'm saying like you know if he was, matter. that's it's yeah. like going to a guara concert but like it's real shit did you, you ever know? see him pick fights it's online picking fights with guys in the audience yeah. Punching him in the face. Then he takes his clothes off. His dick's the size of a fucking thimble. <laughs> and he has a nerve. He walks around like that. He's like, what a... This he speaking of that, Jason was like that in the fucking locker room the other day. No. Oh, oh yeah, butt yeah. naked. Nothing like GG. I walked in there to take a piss. He's just standing there. I'm like, Jason, put your fucking clothes on. I'm in the locker room. I said, nobody wants to see that fucking uh. mushroom cap. He just doesn't give a shit. He'll do anything in the gym, but actually work out. Exactly. I, I from, from time to time I see him at Publix and I kind of avoid going up to him Many because I know I'm just exactly. gonna hear like, well, I, you know, same shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a character. Definitely one of those famous people on the planet. Will you <laughs> stop it? You gotta stop encouraging him, man. You should have seen his mother the other night encouraging him. What's she, what was she saying? Oh, she was taking pictures of him in his Yoda costume. Him <laughs> that him. was funny. Giving him a high five. That yeah, was actually, funny I him, as hell. He was playing that game pretty good. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing, man. I haven't played video games in a long time. There's too many buttons on the controllers See, nowadays. Yeah, I yeah when, I, when I think it's of a video game, man. it's one joystick, one button. That's my old Commodore 64 right there. Or like wow. in the arcades and shit. Like yeah, this, exactly. This just, Up, down, left, right, and a The and graphics a are fucking awesome. It, I mean, it's it's really cool, but it's just it's too difficult. And well, again, you, you can't shit. take up that with your schedule. There's only such no. so many hours in a no. day. I pro- Listen, he said over a month ago that this was going to happen, that he was going to do it, and I didn't even fucking believe that he was going to get all that shit mm-hmm. set up. But I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'll, I'll he come did over. it himself? No, some other guy fucking hooked him up soon. with everything. So... Fuck it. I said I would, so I did. Now he fucking every day. When are you coming back over, bro? I was burning. <laughs> he said he made $80 that night, which... I'll make it over there one of these nights. I guarantee you made more than that. He won't tell me how much. I said, where's my cut? And I'm going to let you go, bro. <laughs> 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 fucking idiot. Hey, if he's making money doing it, good for him. So what's with the hardwood floor? Somebody messaged about a hardwood floor. How are Did your they? Hard, hardwood floors doing? Uh, probably one, are, are they probably talking like about a, like my new... Probably, like, probably one of your weird posts. Is that a code for something? <laughs> well, that's what like I'm wondering. An encrypted message? Hardwood floors. Well, I moved. Maybe because I had. Did I Emma had, ever solve her hardwood flooring needs? I don't. I have no idea what like they're talking a, a about. Code language to me. I mean, I need hardwood, but not floors. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only. That's the only thing. You don't I have can a boyfriend now. I do not. I haven't had a boyfriend for a while. Sam, so, I mean, in the fitness Since industry, early. that's popular. Is there any men of your liking out there? In the fitness industry. Yes. There, you know, there's definitely guys I admire, like at the gym, but at like Planet Fitness. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> there's a few, a select like that few. wearing the tights. <laughs> she just said she doesn't like black guys. Haitian. No, I, I actually. The Haitian is black, Leonard. <laughs> yeah. Not necessarily. No, I, I actually like pretty boys. I actually Have you ever like met a white boys. Haitian? Yeah. 
I don't. Th- I I more often than not will will not go for a guy who works out like that much or is like because they're so full of themselves. Yeah, 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 and I just Always I've dealt with narcissists s- forever and like no, I don't have like I'm, I don't have time for that shit. It's same with the the women, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah, that shit. They're just as bad. Not only that, but they plan all of their meals for the week How okay you... but i do that so yeah but you'll also go out to dinner right i mean i don't i don't go out to eat i have no one to go out but to if, eat with but if, but if, if i did let me take you let me take you out to dinner tonight you're gonna go you're not gonna say no i have to eat what i pre-prepared all no week. but i'd probably say pick some more healthy you know which isn't really saying a lot. You wouldn't give yourself eat. one cheat night a week just to. I mean, I I dabble like here and there. Like my thing for the past like nine months has been Halo Top ice cream. What which is isn't with that? that? Bad. I see everybody. Oh my god, it's so man. good Blue because Bell's it's it's. The best, it, I, thought. I I won't deny that like other ice cream is way better, but for People being like a protein, Halo Top all the time because it's a protein ice cream with low sugar and Ugh. low carb and it has fiber in it and yeah, it tastes like it tastes, tastes like good. regular ice cream. I eat I eat it like every other night. I don't eat ice it's cream. Like that that oh, I love ice cream. Just miss, put it in separately. No, that'd be gross. If you mixed regular ice cream with protein powder. But you eat a protein food at a different time. You like ice cream, yeah. you jackass. I, when you're ben I, and I eat it because it's low sugar and like, well, I'm not. Ben and Jerry's is the best. Oh, fish, fuck yeah. Fish food. Get Half that baked. one. Half baked. I like the too. tonight dough. I like with chunky, all different types of dough. I like in chunky it. monkey too. I'll have to try fish food. Banana, peanut butter. That's the chunky hey, monkey. Me and Andrew Kalora got big eating half a gallon, a gallon of ice cream after See, that, dinner. See, I'll just have like. At this, night. I'll just get fat for, if I eat like that. Yeah. Like, I can't, I can't just eat like that. That's why I'm so strict with my diet. You gain weight easily then? I do. And not the kind of weight that I want to gain. Like, I gain fat very easily, but not muscle. Just don't go back to those anorexic tendencies. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't want to. I like food. So that the, the funny thing about that is like it's a control thing. You know, it's like I can't control anything else that's going on in my life, so I might as well control like what food I put what in my body. You can't control what goes on. No, your I'm life. saying like as an example for someone with an eating disorder, like why they do that. It's 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 a control thing. Same with like addiction. It's like all a control thing. That makes sense. You got a steady job now. I do. I do have a steady job. I've been working there, I think, since May. All right, I good. mean, like, I was telling Andrew before you guys got up here that I'd like to go back to school for physical therapy, but I have to wait until I can expunge my felony before I can become licensed in any medical field, which is what I, I medical stuff is like my thing. That's what I would go into. And how, how do you have to do that? Expunge my felony. <coughs> yeah, is I have it to, possible? I have to wait four more years. Oh. And then it's um, like two, it's like two thousand dollars to do it. So okay. if I go to school and for the next four years, turn a two-year program into a four-year program, by the time I'm ready to get certified, I'll be able to expunge my felony. When something is expunged, though, there's still something. The government, the government, and the police can still see it, but jobs and like employers can't. Well, that's good. Yeah, I mean it, it'll Just be stop worth it. Posting shit about it. Yeah, well, I mean, like, no, none of my, you know, I, I work with convicts and all kinds of people right now, so it's not, it's not really anything that is going to be like damaging to me. What about your felony? You don't have a felony. Nope. You're lucky. Do you have any charges? Nope. That's surprising. <laughs> Why does this? Oh, well, that does surprise me actually. It does me too. Oh, that smoke. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Blow it it smells that way. It smells good. I'm yeah. oh, sorry. It's not up to your up to your standards, Brad. <laughs> it's, not, it's, not weed. it's not the right kind of smoke. That's right. Leonard, what 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 is one thing that you got away with that is a felony? Because I know Sex that many sexual assaults. <laughs> what? <laughs> I know you've got some mis- misconduct on <laughs> in your history, like violent sexual assaults, because that's what I'm like picturing. Oh, yeah, you. assaults and sexual assaults I've gotten away with. Uh, that's deeply disturbing. You know, workers and such. <laughs> K. Harvey Weinstein. Somebody gets, <laughs> yeah. somebody says the wrong thing to me as a man. Be a good girl. I don't say anything. I let everyone hear it. They go, "Wow!" They'll say to themselves, "I can't believe he said that to big man." So. Within a day or two, everyone's got to use the restroom. So when the guy walks in the restroom, I make a beeline, walk in there quietly. You got one door for the lockers, one door for the restroom. It's pretty much soundproof. I'll come in there, grab him by the neck, slam him against the wall. You want to say something to me now? You got something to say? 
You got something smart to say to me. Why is that a sexual oh, assault? That's a physical assault. Oh, I thought <laughs> it was about to get sexual. That's <laughs> getting smashed into the wall, and I'm choking him. You want to say something now? Then I'll let him go. He says, come on and hit me. Nobody's in here. And, blah, blah, blah. I said, they can't hear you. Blah, blah, blah. Go uh-huh. ahead. Whatever. Then I'll come out, and I'll actually have the balls to say, oh, big man, do that to me. You know, and we answer the Prove manager. it. Prove it. I said, mm-hmm. I don't know what he's talking about. How about that story you told me that Andrew didn't put in a video? was <laughs> fucking hysterical. Well, there's a reason why I had to leave it out. Yeah. I, I wanted to put it in the video, but Lenny revealed a little too much information that just may not have been good for his state of employment. The the morgue, the 800-pound... Yeah. This I definitely want to hear. 15, 20 years ago, we had a doctor's son. He was basically in an accident. He was in a wheelchair for 20 years. Over 800 pounds when he did liver failure, you name it. And his father was a doctor, and this kid got to yeah, be 800 money. fucking pounds. Yeah. So that probably, that probably ignored him. Uh, ign- but I don't know how you let that happen. Well, exactly. You know? The more you have to put him, you have to be totally frozen to be able, before they pick you up. And so they couldn't fit him in the morgue. They have these slabs. It looks like a uh, tanny, size of a tanny bed. They got six of them in the morgue, and you can lift them up and put them on the racks and shut the door. They couldn't fit them in at all. So we have a walk-in freezer at work, and we cleared it out a little bit, and we could actually put the whole gurney in with him on it. We had to keep it real secret, though. And security asked me if I could help him lift it because it was so heavy. So they had two sheets of you know material that doesn't usually tear at all, and we're trying to lift them onto from one gurney onto another. <coughs> So we can wheel them in correctly into the freezer. So, what was normally in the freezer? You know, your frozen items, your meat, ground beef, dessert. <laughs> what did you do with corpses? All of the food? We put it all in the corner because they have shelves and stuff. We so you stored shelf. a body. We had in to. There we had no, and it was hot outside, so we had them right outside the door. They had all the other employees leave the kitchen. They said there's a fire. <laughs> there was eight of us guys, a couple nurses, male nurses, doctor, not doctor, but security guards. Myself, we're grabbing each end with two hands. On this material, and we're p- pulling them up, and the th- fabric you hear just started ripping. Uh. So this body went and fell. Hit <laughs> one guy in the leg, buckled. <laughs> the cheek over his face flew off. His he had liver kid face looked like he was machine gun with red dots all uh. over his face. Oh god! Pus coming out of his nose, Ew. his ears, Ew. eyes. It stunk like hell. So Ew. he wasn't embalmed yet. No, they had to wait to pick him up. Holy and they were having problems God. putting him in a kind of a hearse, Dude, too. They decomposing were, they, they, were, yeah. they couldn't just get a regular hearse. They had to get something from Fort Lauderdale that was much bigger to be able to carry this body out, get this body out of here. They may even, I don't know, got a, like a fro- frozen uh, tractor trailer. But he's on the ground. It's like, oh, <laughs> shit. So then we had to grab We had gloves on. We had to m- lift it up. And I tell you what, nothing's heavier than dead weight. Uh, no, it was 800 yeah. pounds. I couldn't believe I deadlifted it close to that, but 800 this was way different. Pounds. Giant. He was over six it foot tall. It feels twice as much. Like he was over six foot tall. It was just a mass. It was a gigantic mass. So How old was he? He was only his, about late there. He was about your age. Hmm. So we had to get three of those sh- sheets and hold, put it under and lift his body, take the other ones out. They got two more security guards. We had like 10 of us. Had to lift them from the ground. On this, uh, on this one gurney on wheels. And he just... And lifting it up, and they were, like, screaming, oh, I can't, I'm going to drop it. And I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm basically lifting doing the whole leg because I was strong at the time. I was at my strongest, and uh, put him up in there, covered his face up, and they picked him up. I don't know what that uh, is. They working deliver something. him in a fucking ice cream truck. Yeah, but, <laughs> oh, man. Don't ever want to get liver problems. I tell you what, you, I saw that face. I've seen patients with liver. Oh, don't ever want to get liver problems. We have some, yeah. Yeah. We have some yeah. Take your fucking own advice. Yeah, go off. Yeah, we got to... Recycle stuff. You don't live on stuff. We got to get you checked out. Make an appointment. I'll fucking take the day off to bring you. All right? Let's okay. make it happen. I've got to get going. All right. That's right, Emma, it. thank you. You're very eloquent yeah. speaker. Yeah, I have to because I What, do you have a fucking bed. curfew? No, I don't have a curfew. That's I go great. to bed oh, early. Oh, you're very regimented. That's great. Uh, I'm everyone. very... Yeah. You're a very eloquent speaker, Emma. I learned a lot from you. And I hope the maniacs did as well. And you just goes to show that when life kicks you, you don't stay down you get back up you kick life back oh. there you go yeah well guys it was fun yeah I'm good glad to see you I'm you gotta come back that. on yeah, yeah. definitely uh, people always ask like why i'm not filming with you guys and hopefully they know that we have totally well not totally different schedules but there's that's pretty difficult for me to get you know where you guys go to um in the morning la la, LA. yeah, yeah it's just, in boca or del rey yeah it's just too far for me yeah. like out of the way you gotta but, get a car you and lenny would, would you, but the thing so is i was just telling andrew cars. about this i have a car mm-hmm. back home 
I would shoot I'm, myself if I didn't have a car. You I haven't I haven't driven for almost ten years and I was telling Is that by him, choice? Absolutely not. Okay. I, I got um it taken away I got it revoked from two DUIs. And that was in I don't know what year it was forever ago. And so I had to pay seventeen grand in driver responsibility fees, which I've been paying over for the past nine years. Jesus. And then Christ. in order to get it back, I had to take care of my felony court case, which I did last year. Save that money to pay for my lawyer again, and I finally just got three notarized letters of like character witness letters, or whatever. I have to have an AA sign in sheet and then a copy of my driving record. Fly to Michigan, go in front of a panel of people and convince them that it's okay for me to have my license. Fly back another eight weeks, and then after they grant me my license, I have to have a breathalyzer in my car for a year. That's one hundred and fifty dollars a month. Get the so fuck out of here! This is why I haven't gotten my license for DUIs that happened over ten years ago. Yeah, the laws yep. are strict in Michigan, huh? I know, and I wasn't even I wasn't even under the influence of alcohol. I just had like Xanax in my system or something. Yeah, wow. it's fucked up. So how long will you have to have the breathalyzer in the car for? A year. Oh, that's a, it's just that. it's just money. But if you you're know, Tiger Woods and you do that, you walk away. Yeah, from exactly. Car, you, know, you, yeah, you can you can drive again a week later. Yeah. Yeah, it's so fucked up. But if you're they Joe Schmo, you're, you're fucked. You'll never drive again. Yeah, but I have a I have a car. Down here without a car, you're literally stranded. Yeah, I know. It's uh, just not really. I, well, well, Uber well, is great. It, yeah, Uber it makes you pretty Uber humble. Lift. Yeah, um, that's why I, I live there. To close lift. by. Well, you're you live. Not far at all from your job. And when the jet That's was by over there, I had everything. Yeah, yeah, my boss gives me a ride to and from work, so I'm thankful for that. That's huge. Yeah. Because that for Uber and Lyft can get expensive, too, after I spent $3,000 on Uber last year. Wow. Because I calculated for my taxes because I'm 1099, so I could write so that off, but I still owed money. That's I use ridiculous. Uber. I have Lyft, but I usually use, use Uber. Nights out. Because <laughs> I'm not paying Nights for a fucking out. DUI. No That's thanks. That's smart. I don't give a shit if the Uber costs $50. A fucking yeah, DUI. A idea. That's no. smart. That's why it's so silly when you hear about these pro athletes or celebrities getting DUI. How does that Imbeciles. even happen? I have a chauffeur. Use Uber. Well, back in what was it, the '80s, limousines were like popular. It was you know popular to have actually yeah. have a driver. Now they want to drive their own flashy fucking cars. But do that when you're not fucking Cookie going cutter. out drinking. Yeah. Right. How stupid can they you? They all look the same. Act the same. Odell Beckham acts like Deion Sanders acted 20 years ago. What's the Odell difference? Beckham's a fucking fruit. Exactly. <laughs> when I put in the address, it goes to all the way over here. Are you right here though. That's right. The blue dot. Okay. Look, <laughs> Jason, text me. One shot couple we come play more video games. <laughs> Broken English. <laughs> what do you think he means by that? Want shot couple week come play more video Oh, you're in like Flynn. Yeah. If That's I want it. another shot yeah, at beating him at a game, could you're, you're, come play more video you're games. You're roped in. Yeah. He didn't say anything about money though, a little prick. <laughs> <laughs> he makes all the money. Just well, tell him you'll come for money. Yeah. He won't do that. Were people are offering you a hundred dollars to make out with Jane? Oh yeah, she would have done it too. I haven't had the pleasure. She would have done it for Jane. free. You never met Jane? No. Lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she'll have a Christmas party this year. We'll see. You meet, you meet him yeah. right. within five minutes of meeting her. You know why he is the way he is. I, and I that's bet. why you know that's why we give him a break. Makes sense. You are right, big man? You ready to go? What's your word of wisdom for the night? Which, it, it give us an inspirational thing for the maniacs. And please do not include Christina Broccolini. Or, tra yeah. or trannies. Or trannies. For the young guys getting into the gym. Stop, stop being a cookie cutter. Stop wanting to look like Flex Wheeler or some physique nobody. Start thinking of some Marvel comic character like the Hulk that's so outrageously huge. And project your face over that body and doing what it takes to get there. It's especially true for the 16-year-olds. You could become a total freak because of that. <laughs> And you could always lose the muscle and be healthy when you're later, but start going, going towards size. You could be healthy later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. to, it. it's, all, it's all it about the size and the eating when you're young. The heavy basic lifts. Because you'll never get that window again. I'd kill to be 16 again. Why? Because I'd be in the NFL. That simple. Right. What also about you, Emma? Also, don't hurt yourself trying to get big. I feel like that's a big fucking thing. Well, you're gonna tear muscles, but you gotta bounce well, it's like back. People well, do... when you're younger, you recover quicker anyway. Yeah, but like, doesn't mean that you should go. Out. I feel like people go so far out of their way to like. Well, some people just so weren't big. meant to be big. I'm exhibit yeah. A. I'm not meant to yo. I'm not mm -hmm. meant to. 
Lenny, you've me known me all. for 19 years. You you know I can't. Well, you're a female. I'm, I'm, you don't want to be I'm big. Well, you're the only few like guys that I've seen that have muscle. gotten bigger muscle yeah, eyes over yeah. the age of 40. Yeah, but I can't. Naturally. So that's a testament to you. Until eight months ago. But the thing is, Andrew, if you were doing that at 16, mm -hmm. you'd be bigger. So we'll never know that. But then again, who's ever died from being too big? Mm. Maybe Jeep well, Swanson. That, too, that guy you were just talking about that yeah, you put in the fat. fucking freezer. Yeah, you mean, big, you mean big muscular, not right, big. Okay. Right. Yeah. Dallas McCarver. Dallas McCarver. Yeah, made, he, made him a, he made a mistake. Well, he made that's a, part of the deal. a simple yet complex mistake. Simple was getting Choking. the glucose into you. Choking, right? Didn't mm -hmm. you die? Yeah, but Dallas that's... McCarver. It wasn't from just eating. You're just a fucking grown man. You don't choke on your food and drop dead. It happens if you don't know how to... If you don't know how to... Don't these, like, these bodybuilders... It, yeah. it was the cause of what he was taking. M most yeah, of, I mean, I get that. Most of these bodybuilders who have died over the years, I think Mohammed Beneziza, I remember, don't they usually die from dehydration right before or after yeah, a show? Yeah, they die from electrolyte imbalance. Right. Yeah, what was it with heart. Rich Piano? What, what happened to him? He, I know he was in a coma, but what was the main know. cause? What was the actual cause of death? There's rumors, speculation. We heard things. Yeah, yeah, like I know. He had a problem, I hear, he had a I hear so many with different things. Oxys. Yeah, and taking all the and other shit like things to mix like with all this it. Other shit. You know? It's tough to say because supposedly there's no toxicology report, right? And there's, so a reason, there's, there's a, a reason, huge piece there's to a, the puzzle. There's a reason for that. They yeah, don't want people absolutely. to know the truth. Right. But that's rumors that we've heard. Who knows? Yeah. Know, just speculation. Be, depends what video you watch on YouTube because that's how we get most of this information. You know, everyone, yeah. everyone has to make a YouTube video about it. Oh, the autopsy report is out. Let me make a video. Yeah. So everyone gives their own opinion on it. All right. Want to so wrap this up? up? Yeah. Good night, fuckos. Emma, it was good Tonight, to see you. We'll, we'll have you back. It was great to see sure. all of you. Very educational, Emma. Thank you very much. No problem. And Christina, you have a wonderful night. Hope everybody's oh, having fun setting up their cookie cutter yeah. trees. <laughs> Christina will be dreaming of Leonard tonight. <laughs> As I will be her, praying for her at midnight. Oh. Next her week, Sidthal Mark in the house talking about his virginity. <laughs> <laughs> or lack thereof. <laughs> we don't know. But stay tuned. Peace out, bye. That's it. <laughs>